Welcome to a corporate time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. Hello. So uh, Samantha's here. Yeah, I'm Dan. Hi. Sorry, I just wanted to say hello. Since mm-hmm. we always say goodbye, mm-hmm. I wanted to say hello. Mm-hmm. What's up, guys? Not much. Um, man, I uh, we got a guest online, but yesterday I took home that delicious uh, bread, the hollow box. Uh, oh, yeah, Cafe yeah. Bread. you took yeah. all the bread. Yeah, yeah, the pretzels yeah. and the bread. I was like looking for that. Fresh and a wi- big I'm, jug of cheese that everyone wanted. I'd been editing yeah, yeah. the video in here and uh, slaving, and I walked out to get a snick snack, and uh, you guys took all the snacks. Mm-hmm. All the snacks mm-hmm. were gone. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I was get, I got I pulled up, and I was getting out of my car, and I was so excited. I was like, I brought fresh baked Hollabach bread. Oh, yeah. And we're going to eat this ready, for dinner. My sons, they, they love bread. And uh, Well, I mean, they're vegetarians for the most part, but uh, bread is delicious. Yeah. I love bread, too. Especially the, the, that Hollabach uh, bread and pretzel. Anyway. Yeah, it's, I, because it's it's fresh and it's German and made with love. Getting out of my car, oh, no. I, I it was Tom. sitting on my passenger seat. I picked it up, but it had like the plastic. What it, did I tell you before you left? Hmm? <laughs> so, oh my god, it sounded like my mom, my mom and yeah. my wife. What did I it. say? I said put the top on, snap it in. I said and be careful that lid's not on tight. Uh, Make sure the top uh, is snapped yeah, on. Yeah. It's I, fine. I, You're I, just an employee. <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> telling me something. Uh, I don't listen to you know what? man. I blame my wife because okay. she has been calling at me for so many years that I I kind of when a woman talks to me you it's, block it out it just block like it's not good if I'm your producer <laughs> if it has a uterus it will be rude to us <laughs> if it has a uterus yeah. it will be rude so to I, us I think naturally uh, just a woman's voice I disregard you do. Like, you know, well it's get, a different they, frequency that doesn't yeah, yeah. register in yeah, your like a, yeah like with me watch this oh mm. you know I'm here yeah, 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 make yeah. a noise Sam. Mm. I can't hear like it. Like a dog yeah, whistle. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't <laughs> yeah, even hear it. The frequency is too yeah, high. Yeah, can't hear it. it. Anyway, uh, uh, the top wasn't secured. And <laughs> oh, I, I went to get pretzel it. avalanche. And I kind of have to rock out of my WRX. as low oh, with my yeah, damn rally yeah, car. Yeah. Uh, Got to get an SUV like uh, I did so you don't have to rock anymore. <laughs> and uh, I used to look like Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall <laughs> getting out of my GTI. <laughs> and I went to go, to, and then it just, the bread exploded out. Oh, of my, <laughs> all, salt everywhere. All over my the the damn uh, road in front of my house and I got so mad I kicked it I was kicking bread uh, and if you over. listen really closely in the background you could hear the raccoons they were like <laughs> hooray yes bread uh, you I, wasted the delicious bread I know you I didn't know. just pick it mad. up and it dust was, it off five second rule yeah five second rule pick but, it up put it in the tin and go in there and your kids will never know I would have but it it just rained so the road was all oh, wet so yeah. then it's like it fell in wet, wet road pretzel. yeah, it's yeah nice. you don't want to wet pretzel. god damn it anyway all right on the line uh, with us right now oh, man I'm I'm very very sorry about that is an artist he has a funny last name. And that's it. That was all I know about him. He forgot it. (laughs) (laughs) What is this? His intro. Uh, He has his own intro now. Oh. (laughs) Who made this? (laughs) I'm guessing he did. Uh, Pabone, did you make that? I did. I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, Pabone's got his own intro. Now, I don't want to be rude, but I mm, think you should. It's no pariah, uh, Mike. <laughs> stick, yeah, stick to the pencil, no, 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 no. Pabone. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the audio is not your right. name. You know, just <laughs> tell us. Yeah, don't ask me how much how much THC was involved. In that. <laughs> <laughs> is that right. Sam saying Pabone? No, I did. I don't, I, you know what? I don't know. Could be. Hmm. <laughs> 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 But Bone, just tell us, like, hey, I need an intro. <laughs> we tell Pariah Mike, he's yeah, stressed yeah. We out. Got, we got a system now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm going back <laughs> and forth. They'll be slaving. Got he got home. He's sending me files in the middle yeah, of the night. Yeah. I'm like, what has Tom done to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm making him uh, all mad yeah, and jaded. Like, yeah. I think he's, hate, he's like hating music. Yeah, <laughs> you're, his you're taking the, his only outlet <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. destroying <laughs> it. Which kind of makes me happy. Like, the fact that it's like... Now it's a job to him. Yeah. You, do, you do love ruining dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's like, you know, I used yeah, to love... Once Pariah Mike starts to hate music and I start to hate art, you'll you'll have completed your journey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then you guys switch roles. And then Mike <laughs> starts doing art. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and yeah, Pabone do starts doing music. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And then we get more donkey with Pabone being... Yeah. <laughs> it does make me happy when someone... Or pony. 
starts to hate their true love, you know, because money corrupted Except it. Except for and, when mm. it's your wife or husband. <laughs> That's yeah. sad. <laughs> that is sad. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it's always sad when I'm reading, like, it, it happens to the BDM group. I'm not going to say any names, but you'll be reading something, and, like, it, it never doesn't affect me when I read one of our oh, listeners yeah, yeah, who's yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She told me years. she doesn't love me, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. She's, no, 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 no. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Hold on. This one's worse. Came in tonight. I was cooking dinner, and the old lady says she just isn't in love with me anymore. And I'm like, God <laughs> damn. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you continue yeah. cooking at that point? You don't, <laughs> right? You say, well, well I'm out of here. Well, I, I, I would scream, well, no ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it seemed like. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's, it can't be a total surprise. Yeah, it's not. Like, <laughs> like you know. Yeah, 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 Like, obviously. It's not like a meteor hitting the earth yeah, yeah, and, yeah. like, we never saw it yeah, coming. You, you, you weren't riding bicycles and having picnics the day before. Wait like, a minute. It's been you, going you, back. You guys do that. You and your wife. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, everyone's it's just for it. Instagram, though, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just all so that people, it looks yeah. like it's It's a, like the an best. obligation. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, to yeah. you guys. Guys, it's like the yeah. picnic and the bike ride is like people that are in the um, the reserves going for that one weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like your duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, did yeah. the picnic. <laughs> we took some photos of the boys. Yeah, I'm All in right. the marriage <laughs> reserves. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I heard that down there. You're probably going to put one weekend a month. Hold on a second. Huh? Marriage reserves. That's the next art piece. Right? <laughs> it's great. Yeah, Join yeah. the marriage reserves. Yeah, it's it's one a... week in a month. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing my duty. Yeah, you just pretend to love America. Yeah, yeah. Then you and then that one week in a month. That, that's when you put all the social media, so the rest of the world sees. Like, dang, this here's guy's a, got here, the good. Here's a fact, and maybe possibly a bit of a hot take. I know it's a little early, and I'm sorry to throw this out there, but the only time I've ever seen the the men and women who dedicate themselves to our reserves are in Wawa buying coffee to go to their weekend thing. Nah. I've never seen I haven't seen them put up barricades. I've never seen them drive a tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what they do. Honestly, I don't know what they do when they go away. Although I know the They gr- could go to trick shots and play pool all day. <laughs> I would never know. The Grizz is in the reserves. I know. Like he left. I want to talk Force. to so I want to know what it's oh, like. Oh, he does nothing. He wasted no. waste the tax money. Again, I'm not mocking <laughs> it. I'm ignorant. I don't know. Well, he, I, I don't know what other people The only know, time I've ever seen them. He's wasting our taxpayer money. It's usually like young men, men and women yeah. at Wawa in full fatigues, like the digital camo, and they're buying Wawa, like Sizzlies and. 100% agree. And coffee. That's the yeah. only time I've ever. Yeah. Seen them. I haven't seen them drive a Jeep. I haven't seen I them. I have seen them drive the Jeep, I will say that. Really? Yeah, but but that was cool. over by where like the naval base was. That's pretty well, cool. Yeah, I asked the Grizz because like you know when the like the Army Reserves, like they like a, a hurricane happens or tornado, like they'll send the reserves. I have a bumper out sticker to, like, in my truck that says hurricanes you know, happen. And like uh we saw it with like Katrina, they sent a bunch of like reserves to like help the situation. I'll never not laugh at that name because mm. the lady at Clear Channel thought God damn it. Sam's name was Katrina for <laughs> that three years. So mad. Three years she called yeah. her Katrina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As I'm handing her paperwork with my name on it, it says you know Samantha. It, like I, it was your uh, Rogers. Yeah. And then you'd hand it, and then the lady would go, "Thank you, Katrina." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Condescendingly. I, yeah. I vaguely remember while Samantha was uh, an intern at the radio station. Her telling us like this person doesn't like what's going <laughs> yeah. on here, and then we were just like, nah, that's how it is. And then like you're driving her crazy back then. Sam, yeah. it's a long time of driving yeah. you crazy. Was it or was it not <laughs> true that like, she said I have no record of an intern named Katrina? And then you said my name's Samantha, and she's like, thank you, Katrina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like how the conversations would go. And then we, you would be like, this lady's driving me crazy. What do I do? And we're just like, don't do nothing. Then I thought, place I thought she was trolling me, but you guys were like, no, that's just that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, the way it is. All right, we have Pabon on the line. We're doing. And phoning with Pabonin. All right, so phoning with Pabonin. <laughs> Samantha had to remind me what this was about again. I still don't know what it's yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. It's one of your uh, creations. You keep adding new well, segments. The, yeah. yeah, the bit is that I just sit on the line and listen to you guys do the show. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no, I, like I like that. Isn't that most of our bits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah, 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 All right. of our bits are call in, you'll sit on the line, you'll pepper in something <laughs> about yourself, and then we'll crap all over it. Yeah, yeah. Then we just tangent <laughs> off for uh, 25 minutes of nonsense. Yeah. The way I look at this now is I'm just sitting here in front of a light, killing some time. <laughs> 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 That's the new name of the show. <laughs> Dan, two guys. 
guys under lights killing time. <laughs> The Bud Light Dad Experience. All right. Uh, so, Pabone, how is this supposed to go now? Uh, you tell us. Okay. So, the bits in its infancy, but I'm thinking what I'll do is throw two ideas out for you guys uh, for art pieces for you to use for shirts or stickers or whatever you guys want to do. And we just kind of, uh, you know, brainstorm on the air. Ah, Maybe okay. you have ideas that are, that are better than mine. The ones that I came up with, one is involving Samantha. Because Whoa. there's a lot of TND merchandise that, you know, I feel she's underrepresented. Mm-hmm. She is. There's th- that so. is by design, though, because we never <laughs> know how long <laughs> mm-hmm. Samantha, Butler, Lee, oh. Ross, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Fat They John. all fall to the wayside eventually. <laughs> well, yeah. you, th- you would think. Now, I Samantha's have, been nice. Uh, she's got the stand of the test of time so I mean, far. I really have high hopes. <laughs> like, I yeah, yeah. pray. Yeah, yeah. That, but you know what? Her, she has a very successful podcast of her own. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and if that one day she'll be like, you know, I'll just do this <laughs> easier than why, working with these. And, idiots. and you know, my answer would yeah, be, yeah. why wouldn't? You? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. honestly, like why anyone would want to put up with you and I, yeah, especially yeah. you, uh, at yeah. any time? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. lump myself in there to take one for the team. Yeah, yeah. Even like our wives are. There's too much entanglement with their own lives and business and the kids. Yeah. They, it's like it's almost. Uh, too hard for them to leave. Too much work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but Samantha, uh, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. she is I laying. Got a strategy. She yeah. is laying the groundwork that a young Tom and Dan did when they wanted to exit the horrible <laughs> situation they were in. And she could do <laughs> lots of semantic shows just about all the behind the scenes. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. sell us out all hard, the secrets. Hard, yeah, yeah. 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 She and, can do. Uh, I don't know, hashtag 115 or something, like uh, hashtag and then, 64, and, and then you use sugar that. Yeah, she'll get a lot of our listeners just to hear all yeah, the yeah. bad things about us. And then they'll tell you that they never liked us anyway, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, kind of yeah. true. <laughs> kind of yeah. not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll but, pander to you, you'll pander to them, yeah, and then, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Then the cycle continues. Lawyers told me a long time ago, uh, they're like, get your employees to sign non disclosure agreements. And I'm like, oh, what are you, Trump? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> non disclosure. I tell the audience more <laughs> than I tell the employees. That's right. Yeah, 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 we're pretty honest about yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, you know, I mean, I should have something to hide, yeah. but I had nothing to hide. <laughs> I should be hiding. <laughs> But I don't. Yeah, like I mean, we <laughs> tell you guys everything we're doing. You know, like we're right now we sitting, sitting on thousands of dollars that's already paid to a venue that we're probably never gonna oh, lose. God. We're gonna lose that money. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, so Pabone, what's the first uh, shirt idea that you came up with? Then we'll tell you a better one. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I like this. <laughs> this is the whole. Well, I'm writing down. I should be hiding, but I'm not. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. um, oh. So this one is Sam versus Seth. Nothing against Seth, but, you know, I'm a big fan of the way that Samantha stands her ground against some of the, uh, you know, more outrageous things that Seth says on the show. Mm -hmm. So this this would be kind of a play on, like, an old-school Captain America comic book cover where Sam is Captain America and Seth is, uh, well, Hitler, say. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see some, you see some marketing issues. Uh, so, uh, so Samantha's Captain America. Yeah. Uh, b- <laughs> 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 and yeah, Sam is just just huh? punching out the hierarchy, man. Mm. Well, yeah. And then Seth Once you draw this, I'll be punching out something too. <laughs> <laughs> I, my only issue would be that I have to share a shirt with Seth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm kind of worried about putting Hitler on Tom and Dan's shirt, but not that word. (laughs) (laughs) Just a little. (laughs) Just kind of. (laughs) Uh, But I... uh, I mean, in in other periods of time or administrations, I would have worried more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it, fair. Yeah. And and it's uh, Samantha as Captain America punching Hitler, which is uh, you know all I'm all for. And then we also get to bully Seth. Um, uh, I don't know. He hasn't been around uh, doing the news long enough to be on a shirt. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, He's yeah, got to yeah. earn it. Yeah, 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 I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um. Now I am. Here's my idea. Um, what about Sam mm-hmm. as a cat and <laughs> Tom with a raging boner uh-huh. looking at her and then going here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that way better. Mm. Uh, and then the old Daytona <laughs> Beach. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I've got. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or like, okay, imagine a beach towel. 
Yeah. And the the whole beach towel is a hundred dollar bill, right? Yes, <laughs> so, I like where you're okay. going. Yes. <laughs> then it's uh, uh, Samantha, yeah. Travis, me, and Daniel, right? And we're facing the other way, but we're looking backwards. Yeah, over and we're, your shoulder. And we all got thongers oh. on. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, go with that. <laughs> okay, I like that one. In a beach towel like JPEG it. format. Yeah, what about me <laughs> on a beach yep. in a Speedo, yep. and then behind me is Butler yep. as a little dog, and he's pulling cheekily, pulling my bikini bottoms down, oh. showing mm. the bare white uh, porcelain skin of my anus. <laughs> <laughs> You're anus. bleaching. Yeah, yeah. Your anus. yeah, yeah. It's a low pull. <laughs> oh. It's a low pull. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are you bending oh. over? Yeah, hey, I'm bending oh, over. Okay. I'm picking up trash. And then on the bottom it says, boom, whoa. <laughs> yeah, oh, boom. no. Yeah. <laughs> pull them all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get low. All right. All right, so uh, we've given you your homework. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go What's do it. it. It's up to you to make winner. your millions. Yeah. Now. We've given you million dollar ideas. Yeah, if yeah. you just want to be lazy and smoke your weed, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're the idea man. We do, we've given you yeah. more than millions of dollars of ideas. But, oh my uh, god, yeah, yeah. I've already given you more than I should have. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I feel guilty. Yeah, yeah. In I fact, feel guilty. Travis, write up the invoice. We're sending you an invoice. <laughs> yeah. You owe us money now, oh. and it's going to be oh, it's man. going to be labeled ideas. Really backfired on me. But... <laughs> it might come late. You can write. <laughs> we will ex we will accept a check, but do write ideas in the memo. <laughs> so we remember. Yeah, so we know. What's your? Because other... we have so many ideas, we forget a lot of stuff. <laughs> What's your other idea, Baboon? <laughs> Ooh, all right, uh, idea two: Brown mm. County choppers. Brown. Oh, oh, hold on, oh, yeah, yeah. I did hear hold about this. Hold on, you saved your A materials for second place. Brown County choppers is hilarious. Mm -hmm. So it, it? is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bye bye. So, okay. <laughs> so it's Travis as yeah, yeah. Paul <laughs> Senior. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> big, oh, no. big fat melted old man. Yeah, yeah. Chops, and then um. Okay, so okay, we're You're starting. You're Mikey. Well, I I guess <laughs> I'm, I'm, like the I'm the star. No. I'm the star. I'm Paul Jr. No, well, no, 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 no. I think well, who, well, one of you has to be Paul Jr. because it's going to recreate the meme of throwing the chair. I think maybe Tom could be screaming, you know, you're clowning me. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, hold on, yeah, yeah, back yeah. in. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Sam, you can be Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When, when, when he makes when, a yeah. custom chopper. Yeah, and he's an a-hole the entire episode. You can be a-hole right. Billy Joel. Yeah, and, and then where you're like, Billy, you know Billy Joel's never going to ride this damn thing. Or you he's can an be, old man. And or the, you can be any POW who will cry when they see a motorcycle made. Uh, because, yeah. you know, yeah. nothing screams being a prisoner of war like a custom... <laughs> Douchebag, <laughs> raked out, horribly gaudy and tacky right. chopper. But it's got a POW CNC'd oh, out of. Yeah, that'll make chrome. him feel better. The guy closes his <laughs> eyes and sees bamboo nightmares every <laughs> night. He closes his eyes. It's a bamboo jungle of nightmares. <laughs> the bamboo creatures are killing him in his nightmares. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you think the motorcycle is going to make it better? Yeah, yeah. He, How about you get him some therapy and put him on some medication? They're uh, putting bamboo shoots in his uh, fingernails. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's in a cage. And he has to float down the well, river. The, the grips are made of fingernails. No. <laughs> That's how we tied it in. Brown County job. Bamboo nightmares. Oh. <laughs> Bamboo nightmare. <laughs> grips are Bamboo nightmare yeah. was the darkest of the Jimmy Buffett albums. Really, he took a turn. Oh, Very yeah. dark. Mm. It's more of a system of a down vibe. Yeah. So, um, all right, Pabone. I think we got a lot of ideas here to. Uh, I vote Brown County Choppers <laughs> is the one I would. Mm. That's my vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like the uh, Brown hundred, County okay. hundred dollar ass towel. All these are good and uh, can all be utilized in one way or the other. Yeah, don't, I mean, don't throw any of this away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, you're sitting on multiple piles of <laughs> platinum right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no bad ideas at Tom and Dan. Uh, uh, <laughs> 100% good ideas. Yeah. Bad, th th our catchphrase actually is bad ideas only. It's a question. It's yeah. bad ideas, and we go only. Mm hmm. So, uh, Pabone, how long, like, when you, uh, I see your art all the time on the BDM page and everything, and you come up with it pretty quickly, what's your standard draw time? Like, I have no idea 
how long it takes to create like a an image or a, well, you don't a, a have piece a of art. you don't have a good concept of time. No, oh, that's the damn truth. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not at all at bagging all. on. It. I'm just yeah, saying, in like, general, it, like yeah. you, it's like you know how I, I have almost, a terrible memory. Like I don't remember anything, and you guys make fun of me. The fact that I literally can ask Samantha, like, what do we do on the show? Write it down, and then forget I wrote it down, so I had, I don't know where to look. Yeah, yeah. You will tell your wife. Your wife's like, where are you at? You're like, I'm at the West End Trading Company in Sanford. <laughs> when will you be home? You're like, five and a half minutes, I'll be home. <laughs> and I'm like, right. no, 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 no. That, it'll take us that to walk to the car, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well, that's how I'm just telling them what, uh, what they want to hear. You know, that's, uh, right. But also... People pleaser. I, I'm like, hey, Tom, we uh, we got to start recording in five minutes. Okay. Jumps on a call for 35 minutes. Like, <laughs> okay, what the... Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's being overconfident that I can get it done, <laughs> which I know I can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, a, uh, like, I am 100%. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't hear the one I heard this morning. Can I'm, I say it? I have phone conversation? Which one? What? The oh. one the, or do you want to save that? Uh, I, 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 there's so many. <laughs> so we'll save it. We'll more. save it. We'll There'll be 10 it. more for <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, you're, you're oh, right. no. It's another one of his renovation, or excuse me, his uh, remodel uh yeah. phone calls and man <laughs> if you write this stuff down and just read it oh it's bad yeah, yeah. No, i just said well <laughs> they, they told me they're like i thought you were gonna change this wire uh, they you know splice last time it was a fire hazard it was all melted and i was like oh god i even got lost in the shuffle and like i'm like just splice it again <laughs> <laughs> and they're like you sure and i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. i just splice it and i'm like it's fine right you're like, ah. like ah. <laughs> he's like i mean i get to hear him on the phone he's like i wouldn't do it but uh you know <laughs> i work for you <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, but like, like, well, why wouldn't you do it? Because you, uh, you, you we, uh, because well, it's gotta, dangerous. It's got to roast you and your but, family alive. <laughs> <laughs> but how? Just give me how. Like, it, 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 it'll well, probably the, be fine, the right? Fire will start in the washer, and then it'll travel its way up to the ceiling, and like, then while you're sleeping. Yeah. Uh, the flaming ceiling will rain down on you and your family <laughs> like, and yeah, I, I catch you on fire. And by the time you can run to the pool, all of your skin will have melted like, out. Like, <laughs> oh name, like if you get dive tables, they're built in to be conservative. Yeah. Like, like you know, but it'll be fine. If I go, I go to one in ten, I'm not going to start having the seizure. Right? It's well, going to be not. like one twenty five. I'm talking about depth. Oh, okay. So you're saying if the splice is fine. <laughs> yeah, like, so what would he need to do in order for it to not be fine? Splice it twice, which is what you're doing. <laughs> do you? mm. Well, if if he says like this is like you know it will catch fire, then I'll be like, oh, well, I then don't I do would. It. But if he they like, it'll probably be fine. Like, but I would say, what's the point of the code then? Right. Well, cons- I think it's just cons- well, that's the government trying to get money. Okay. Codes. Uh, <laughs> is it or are they yeah. trying not to have your house burned down? Well, there's yeah. some real bad stuff. Pabon, you know. do you cut corners when it comes to like electricity? Uh, no. no. Just, I lived in a house me, what, that give, was so rich. You remember my old house. Mm. And everything in there was a fire hazard. And it was fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was fine. Yeah, just give me the poor American, not the... But my, Tom does have the orb. Where was that So explosion? I feel like the chances are higher for his house to catch well, on fire. My, my, my old well, wiring was like dishwasher. copper. Like in some of the... It was block. It was a block house. The, the walls were not... They were... Block. They were not. Yeah. You yeah, know, no like drywall. Yeah. And so with, the fire in the block is fine. And, and then it, <laughs> the wires were copper, and they were wrapped in like old paper, like they were wrapped in the Constitution. <laughs> yeah. You know. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I'm like, and it was thick <laughs> copper yeah. white, uh, like you could bend that, it. That paper cools it. Down. <laughs> yeah, it was I was like, what is that? <laughs> Why did you wrap this with Abraham Lincoln's shopping list? Like, what, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> It's just paper. And the paper. This, this seems like magician flash paper. <laughs> it does. And the paper was yellow and brown like what? Like what? Like the wire had gotten hot enough to turn it yellow brown. Oh, like yeah, it yeah. was burning it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that, I left it. But that, <laughs> it was fun. That, that pre burned it good. So now it's fine. Yeah, you got to pre- toast it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you got to do is wrap your wires with pre burnt paper. <laughs> It'll be fine. Dry. <laughs> Real dry. Because if it's pre burnt, there's nothing to burn. <laughs> Yeah, no yeah. fire. <laughs> it's fine. It's in the concrete. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. Sorry, Pabone. Um, so that's a, no, no, no. One of the first pieces I did for you was uh, was Squid Wall. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah, one yeah. of your first pieces. By the way, this bit has now funny, been but the name also... of this bit has been changed to Sorry Pabone. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just Sorry Pabone. So Pabone, where can people uh, hire you and find your art? Uh, just go to artofericpabone.com. That'll take you somewhere. 
<laughs> Pro bone. I, I don't know if it'll get you to me, but I'll get you somewhere. That's amazing. If, if I want to make my sons like a short custom comic book where they're superheroes, right? If for you want Christmas, to. Uh, no, I'm just saying, how much would that cost? Oh, I thought you were. Like, I don't have any idea what art costs, but like. Pro bone, don't let him ask you on the air where like, he put you on the spot, yeah. man. Five what you, easy. What are you, what are you doing, bro? Mm, I, I do you got to send him an email for a quote. When I do these, I do these off the air oh, so man. we can actually, you know, talk well, about money. I don't try to freebie him or cheap ass him. No, not the cheap ass You're trying to cheap no, ass no, him. No, no, but he'll grift be. and I smell a grift. He'll yeah. be, like, scared to put out, like, a too high of a cost because they know, like, uh, other people will be like, oh, too high. So we'll put out a low cost for right, me. On the air. Right, on the air. Well, that's not fair to him because then everyone else is going to expect. That. You're, You're taking guy, advantage know, of yeah. a guy during a a, a, a pandemic. <laughs> a pandemic, my God! Uh, I wrote for this. I give I give BDMs the best pricing that I give anybody because they have been keeping me afloat, man. Especially now, I rely more on art for income than I did in the past. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll hook you up, man. And you, no. I love you, Tom. I That's what we do, though. We tell heart. everybody, hey, yeah, go to this guy and get the BDM treatment. It's uh, all the same. You got money, they'll yeah. treat you yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. You yeah. walk in there with a $100 bill yeah. slapped yeah. on your forehead, you're going to yeah. get the BDM treatment. <laughs> yeah. 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 It just means, like, uh, you got money to pay? Uh, yeah. You get the treatment. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. I actually charge them more. <laughs> People are like, they are very honest on their show. <laughs> it's not good. They told us all their advertising was fake. <laughs> well, now you understand advertising. <laughs> now the secret's out. Every time I see BDM, I add 20%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a name brand. It's, it's, it's in the name, yeah. too. They've, yeah. they've yeah. admitted they're rich, <laughs> which is a first negotiation flaw. Uh, all right, Pabone. Uh, Artofpabone.com. And uh, we'll P-A-B-O-N-E. have. P A B O N E. We'll have a couple more dozen ideas next time. <laughs> There's no E. <laughs> no, no I, I threw the E no. on there because he's because of the way Tom says it. Mm. And when we wrote it, we wrote it P A B O N E, <laughs> and we just slapped it in the room. Oh, it's a Paboni. <laughs> oh, no, no, there's no E. Ah. Uh. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye bye. We'll see you. We'll see you soon, man. All right, Tom. Love you, yeah, man. Yeah, love you too, buddy. Be good. That uh. is our good friend Eric Pabone, and as Sam said, bye bye. Mm. Welcome back to a corporate time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Um, so we got new merch up on TomandDan.com. If you download our app, it's free. Just search Grab or Tom and Dan in any app store, and you'll get it. You can go to the merch page through there. You can go through TomandDan.com. But we are going to have new headbands up. Yeah, uh, a lot those, of new stuff. Yeah, uh, like new, better quality masks. Uh, we got Oh, the masks are dope, man. They're yeah. uh, adjustable sides. They're really, really cozy, comfortable. They're not frumpy looking. Right. The designs are sublimated. Yeah, four or five different designs. They're from the company that we use that does our hats. And yeah, yeah. I don't give many compliments to myself. But, man, They're our, hats, call our yeah. hats are badass. They're really nice. Uh, top tier quality. I think you're going to really like these masks. They're made by a Jacksonville company called Dome. We got new BDM boat flags or any sort of flag. If Dude, you want. mine They're got like... stolen by my daughter. That yeah. boat flag is legit. It's good quality. Yeah, uh, super nice. You could hang it in your garage. You could run it off your car if you wanted to. I'm going to run mine off my scoot. Tom and Dan uh, uh, Lego men shirts. Mm-hmm. We got ACT corporate time shirts. Oh, it's shirts. different than the original Lego man shirt we put out like three <laughs> years ago. This one's actually just us. It's like a bigger print. Um, really, really nice. Yeah. Super cool. Anyway, lots of new merch. So uh, I was on the BDM page, and you can be on that page as well. Uh, all you have to do is be a BDM, and then you can send through the app a request yeah, to be on the page. You'll see a little button that uh, says Facebook. Yeah, then yeah. Tony will verify if you're a BDM and then let you on the page. Some Android users have um, reported that their button will um, deactivate depending on when hmm. they load. The show. So if you're just having an issue, no no need to get freaked out or anything. Just email me. I'll get you in. Show at TomAndDan.com. And there's a, a there's a video that's been circulating the uh, internets, and the video is of a man on a three-wheeler, and they're unloading a three-wheeler off of a pontoon boat, and he attempts to ride the three-wheeler shirtless and in sandals up a steep flight of stairs. This looks like this could be in the Ozarks or... In Tennessee, it's the stereotypical Beautiful. looks like the Carolinas. Maybe, Car- yeah, it's or? a stereotypical lake uh, surrounded by hills and mountains and that kind of scenario. And people tag me, of course, because we've talked about three wheelers a lot on the yeah. show. 
I grew up riding three wheelers, and uh, it was the first Florida. motorized, like the first motorcycle that as a yeah. as a kid, and it was who was yellow? Was that Yamaha? Honda. Honda. Oh uh, no, Honda Suzuki. would have been red and white. Who was yellow? Well, Honda they did come did out they with do yellow some yellow. Yeah, but the Suzuki is yellow. Okay, it was a yellow tank, and then yellow fenders or whatever those that i think that's an old school honda it's probably a honda 80 and that, it had uh it, no it was too big for me it was too yeah, big yeah, for yeah. me i know that okay and it Maybe had the stupid handguard jobbies on it okay yeah, 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 yeah and i rode that i learned how to ride that it was really fun but yeah. super dangerous yeah the three-wheeler is a uh a dangerous but i've broken all my toes on a three-wheeler uh i've seen my stepdad uh Hurt himself very badly on three wheelers. So this video is funny for a lot of reasons, and we'll kind of analyze it. And for those who haven't seen it, um, we're gonna play it on Twitch. Yeah, Twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. You can find the replays on YouTube. Search Tom and Dan Live. If you just uh, search for uh, unload three wheeler from pontoon, ride it up some stairs. Basically, three wheeler pontoon stairs. You'll probably find it. It's got millions of views. Um, so a couple things with this, um, first, um, I'm sure that this idea was, Hey, we need to get this three wheeler from one place on the lake to the other. We'll just take it via pontoon boat. Do you think boat. that much thought was put in made? This might've been just, let's see if we can put it on the pontoon <laughs> boat, man. Uh, it seems like they're trying to get it from one place to the other. And they, they thought pontoon boat would be the quickest way and most efficient way. So they got it over to this area that is, Basically, a dock with some steep wooden stairs, yeah. and uh, and the guy, without hesitation, get they they get the three wheeler off, and he rides up there immediately. They don't really look at it or assess. It. So it tells me that maybe this guy's done this before, right? Uh, I, I really analyze it. It, it kind of looks like they're comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, th like, the fact that there was no, like, hey, can, you think you'll make it up there or whatever. It's like, the guy just. I haven't seen this video, by the way. Well, no, you I've, haven't? No, without. I've seen it. I haven't seen it with sound. Okay, yeah. So, let's play it and I'll. Uh, and we can stop it and I'll, uh, I'll tell okay, you. Yeah, we'll, give me the breakdown. We're full screen yeah, now. You yeah. can watch this twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. Tom and Dan Live on YouTube. Because I'm very familiar with riding three wheelers up hills yes. and then what could go wrong. Yes. And I've seen it happen dozens of times in my own life with, like, with my stepdad. Uh, and uh, like th I'm very familiar with okay. three wheeler crashes, and I'll tell you what went wrong. Okay, but, uh, we're, f we're yeah. uh, full screen now. Let's mm. see what we got here. Yeah, maybe perfect. So that's him. They get the three wheeler off the pontoon boat onto the yeah, narrow three. dock. He almost dumps it off the side of the dock right here, where the back tire goes a little so too far. So far, so good, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, like I said, the guy's shirtless, jean shorts, shoeless. I thought he had sandals, but he's bare. <laughs> so, oh, 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 watch it. And, yeah. We got it. We got All right, it. We're got good. Oh, there you go. There you go. And so, tell me when you want me to pause it. So you can pause right here. So now, what? Uh, this is where I assume they've done this before because they got they got the three wheeler off, and then now it's on the narrow, skinny dock, and it's face the stairs right sure. now there's a steep flight of stairs probably like what would you say there's probably 50 stairs there or something let me like go that. back and look at it here. maybe 30 um, um i maybe 30 maybe 30 yeah, yeah. it looks like, like your standard three sets of 10 uh i'd also like to know what kind of like is that a wooden it may be staircase aluminum composite, staircase uh but it i think it it's does look wooden. like that composite that my mom has yeah, yeah. like that indestructible like plastic Decking, ah, yeah. uh, but that's expensive. This uh, really this expensive. pontoon boat and three wheeler. This is wood. Probably you, yeah, wood, you're, yeah. Right, you're right. But anyway, so he immediately jumps on the three wheeler, no shirt, jean right. shorts, no shoes, go and, Gators, and then rides it up. So I think this guy has done this, or at least supremely confident that he have no problem doing it. All right. Um, but he runs into problems immediately, <laughs> and you can see it on his face, and I notice it because. What happens is the three wheeler is not going up the stairs as smoothly as he uh, expected. The back wheels are spinning yeah. a lot, yeah, yeah, which is causing him to. Are they wet? Yeah, it must be wet, and the tires are probably bald. But you can see as he's getting up, he starts having problems immediately. All right, and it's not as smooth as he. We'll as go he back. Thought, uh, think, uh, we'll, we'll go back here and, and kind of see what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Mm. There we go, just fired it up. Dude, that thing is as wide as the dock. There he goes. Oh, he's struggling a little. Yeah, 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 he's doing yeah. little bunny hops. Yeah, he's leaning forward, his position is good. Alright, now push pause. So, he is putting all his I like weight. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so far, his technique isn't horrible because he realizes that because of the incline the steps are on, he needs to put all his weight forward, therefore, to not let the back tires grab right. and flip him over. Because he knows that's the most dangerous scenario is if he falls backwards onto the wooden steps and the three-wheeler oh, crushes him. Oh, your spine's uh, done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, that so, sounds uh, terrible. So, Especially with no, like, no not even shirt, a shirt. No shoes. Uh, no problem. Uh, but uh, the, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, he's leaning forward, but it's causing the back wheels to spin out, which is causing it to be a violent track up the stairs. Okay. And, I, and I see the fear in his eyes, and I realize, but he's still confident because he's gotten up three quarters of the way. Yeah. Now, I will tell you the first mistake that anybody makes is losing momentum, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, with anything. E even if you're at the beach and you don't want to get yeah. stuck in soft sand, you know those people you like, I'll just it. go slow. It's like, yeah. no, you just got to go. Mm. So yeah. You just got to stay consistent. So the, the, the number one... No fluctuations. Yeah, the, the number one piece of advice that all my family throughout the generations of vans... Over anything. I've driving... Over anything. <laughs> over like, uh, hey, have yeah. fun, try your hardest, be good to people. This is the number one piece of advice. It, it's like that my dad taught me with climbing hills on an ATV, three wheelers, four wheelers, dirt bike, is if you lose momentum and come to a stop, bail off, right? Because mm -hmm. once you come to a stop, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you are not going to be able to start going up the mm -hmm. incline halfway up. At, you, you, you don't weigh enough. You are just going to now be stuck there or start to slide down, and then it's real bad after that. So, Well, you're part of the vehicle at that point. <laughs> so once you lose momentum when you're climbing a hill of any kind and uh, on a three-wheeler, four-wheeler, whatever, you then have to just bail off yeah. and then let the three-wheeler or whatever crash or come back down or whatever. Never stay with it. couple comments from Twitch. He's not braking properly. Got to keep that front wheel straight, though. Stopping is bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. go. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to go. So watch what happens when he loses momentum and then he accidentally lefts, <laughs> lets off the brake, yeah, which well, is another that's what huge you, mistake. Yeah, you don't want to do that. All right. Here we Sorry. go. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh, now He's we let off. Oh, oh, oh. Bricks, oh Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh man! Now a couple things. Oh, I think he rolled, and and and, and here's the rule. Oh. Here's the Murphy's law with three wheelers. Mm. I don't care where you are. Mm. I don't care where you go. When that three wheeler rolls, and it's gonna roll a little slower than you because it's heavy. <laughs> It's going to find you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's going to land on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not, the, no not a tire. Yeah, the hot. A bar or a hot piece of the <laughs> exhaust of the is going to go in. <laughs> just It's just going to shred uh, you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, oh God, that dude! I didn't. Look, with the sound, it's way worse than just yeah. watching. It sounds like when I was just watching it, I'm like, eh, "Not that bad." So this two, is bad. two funny things. One, the guy's lucky because it seems like he fell into the water, and the three wheeler didn't crush him as much as it could have. Because, oh man! But I think he's dead. Well, also the three wheeler like landed on top of him in the water too. But uh, I want to just watch that. I like the annoyed friend. Oh, yeah. Breaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. come on, man! It's, it's only die. ten seconds from when he's. Almost what? done it to failure. What's What's funny is the, the annoyed friend <laughs> yeah. is yelling brakes at him, annoying like right. he, like he's annoyed by it. All, when it's already a catastrophe, there's no saving yeah, it. Yeah, there's no breaking like, to save it. Like once he's okay. already like 20 feet down, uh, well, he's like, already rolling out of control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put your brakes on. Right. Right. Yeah, watch it. Okay, here we'll go. <laughs> yeah. We'll go back. Like I'll tell you the point of no return. Right there. Yep. Once he, started, he came back a little bit. Once he starts rolling back a little bit, he should have just gotten off. And his, his his hand slips off the front brake. He needs to bail at that point. And then you let your three wheeler tumble, and it breaks, yeah. and then that's it. And but then that you learned your lesson. You save yourself. There's no good by staying on it. It will only kill yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's analyze where he goes yeah, here. Well, no nope. Brakes. 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 
Murray. Look at this Murray. He's already halfway, halfway down, <laughs> flipping over. Yeah, and and the annoying listen, part is like Brick. Everybody wants you is to. Is he saying bricks or breaks? Breaks. But right. Tactical Hat is saying Dak groans. Listen for the groan at the end. Here we go. I'll turn it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Johnny, are you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I'm oh. bleeding. Could he not have just <laughs> gone up the side in the grass? Well, uh, that's probably too. Uh, the side would have caused. The well, same I mean, thing. he could have not he, enough traction. He, he could have got on it, fired it up, had his friend get behind him and help push or steady, or they could have just pulled it up there, or oh. they could have just not done this to I mean, begin with. That three could have used a trailer. Mm -hmm. that, and dro 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 drove it. Home. That three wheeler is like 1985. Like that's around the time they stopped producing them. So like that thing is made in the 80s. It's got uh, limited power. It's probably like a a, a 210 or a, a I want 240. One. You know, can you street legal those in any way? I don't think no, so. No, no, I want the I. That's the now that one's you cool, man. but the one I like has the big ballooner tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with no <laughs> traction. That's the old Honda 110. That's what I want. I want the ones that it basically looks like you're not gonna ride anywhere. You're just gonna hop. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. like uh, my pop up and like all those guys in the 80s and the Everglades. They used to like ride those things across. Swamps and stuff because the big balloony tires would actually float them, and you can. Are you, you kidding me? Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. With a skinny enough guy, a yeah, big, you just a, go. Big, a big boy, it'll, yeah, it'll yeah, sink, yeah. but it'll actually float. Uh, or you can get off, and the damn thing will float, and you could just push it across water. That's you know, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm surprised a, they don't. Death machine, I'm surprised though. they don't like. Yeah, but there's a lot of things out there. I mean, like. Just as it is, a one wheel can hurt you. You know, anything can hurt you. Yeah, skateboard, yeah. electric skateboards, dude. Electric skateboards. Yes. I've seen more people around Baldwin eat it, including myself. I think I did break my wrist when I fell on that electric skateboard and Maisie laughed at me because I'm having so much trouble with my wrist. It's all screwed up now. Yeah, yeah. It makes like creaking noises. It's not healed right. But I'm just saying, I'm surprised somebody doesn't make, even aftermarket. Like some guy just makes a kit where you can make the old school three wheeler because people mm. steal like they're coveted. Yeah. They're, they're coveted. Yeah. They are coveted, but the problem is the inherent design of them is wrong because we've realized like four wheels or two wheels through with no in between. Like the three yeah. wheels is where you have a problem yeah. because it gives you the false sense of security that you're like uh, on three wheels and more like. Like it's like a trike, except for a dangerous. Also, they named it an uh, ATV, which uh, I think it is not all terrain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. yeah no. It's by no means all terrain. Limited no, terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> very, very limited. limited. Yeah, yeah. In fact, if it's uh, any terrain difference is bad <laughs> because yeah. uh, you know, cause you to flip over. I mean, turning is bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 Going yeah. straight is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On straight on like. one terrain, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah. good. It should be a STV, <laughs> like a straight terrain vehicle. Yeah. Or uh, LTV, yeah, yeah, yeah. limited <laughs> terrain vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because if you want to go up hills and stuff, you're b better suited. A dirt bike is probably the best. Oh, my God. Uh, well, welcome back to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Our producer, Samantha's here. Butler is in the other room mm -hmm. buying delicious candy. <laughs> How did he eat a two buckets of candy? And it was trash candy. And like I never see him eat the nerds. Is he hiding in the bathroom eating nerds? He's yeah. got him in his drawer, yeah. his little Who desk ate drawer. all the nerds? Yeah, but I sit right next to him, and oh, does he you eat while we're... Yeah, while we're recording. <laughs> oh, that's what he's <laughs> just sitting there eating candy the entire time? <laughs> yeah. That's Two what buckets. children do. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who eats that many nerds? The guy, he's 40 years old. Well, Maisie, my daughter, who's five, who is the yeah. perfect age for eating nerds. I mean, that's the yeah, ripe yeah. age. I mean, you're a professional nerd eater at five, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's no candy. Like, yeah. It's all gone. Never in my adult life have I ever <laughs> thought... You know what I want to? I want to go and get some nerds. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's tiny little. There's so many. If I'm gonna eat something with sugar, you get a steak. It, yeah, yeah. You get or, a beer, a white claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like have something quality. Yeah. You know, like have a nice piece of chocolate or like a you know, no, some nerd nerds. Willy Wonka, <laughs> Wonka brand, Wonka anyway. brand nerds. Okay. So uh, we've talked to this gentleman multiple times before, and Daniel and I really like it when someone uh, goes out there and, and starts their own small business, especially when it has to do with the arts oh, yeah. and doing something cool that's not available. Because if we don't support these types of things, then they'll go away. They will go away. And then we won't have any options. So, you know, and then people will be like, why isn't there more 
like you know private specialized schools. Well, there were you, you just didn't support. It. Nobody used them, and right. that's when they can't stay in business and they can't offer really cool things. Indeed. And then what happens is we're left with this super generic. You know, like the only one teaching our kids music is the public schools. And they're like, all right, get the recorder out. Uh, we have no budget. <laughs> and yeah. I'm miserable as a teacher. And then that's what well, you the get. the parents are miserable because I don't know if you know this, but the recorder, Maisie has one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll yeah. it'll grade on you. And so bit. and beca- and then there's no music programs and everybody's always like, well, there should be more arts and well, music. What and about like, if, what about private if, institutions are trying to do it? Well, what if you want to learn, you know, maybe you, you're all you are a musician, musician rather, but maybe you just want to learn how to set up an actual music performance. Yes. You know, maybe you're like me. Like when I got into radio, I didn't want to be on the air. Are you crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to learn how to push all the buttons. I wanted to know how to run the cables and set up the studios and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And that is just as valuable, if not more. How to rewire an amp. Oh, yeah. How to, how to fix a microphone. Fix a know? guitar. How to, yeah, how to properly set up a guitar for somebody that's going to yeah, play yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, and that's where our guest comes in. We've got John from the El Camino School on the line. How you doing, man? I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me back, guys. Oh, man, thanks no for problem. always uh, being so cool. And, and uh, thanks for being on the show today. What's going on? Give us the update, because how long has it been since we actually had the chance to, to talk to you guys? Uh, well, obviously, it was pre-quarantine. So just I think just before the quarantine, we were having some events, and uh, so we spoke then and haven't, haven't spoke since. Yeah, and uh, I know that pre-quarantine, we were talking to you, and you were really pushing hard for uh, you know El Camino School to... Uh, do cool things and some cool new projects and stuff. And then Kabam. Co- COVID happened and uh, everybody literally uh, lost their minds. Yeah. And, you know, and we all know what happened. So I'm sure this has affected you a lot. Right, John? Yeah, it has. Um, I mean, obviously, initially, you know, not not being deemed essential uh, hurt us uh, because, you know, one of the things we do is music therapy for special needs children. And that created a huge vacuum, you know, not only for our you know daily operations, but also, you know, think about those parents. You know, that's one of many things that we do at El Camino School. But you think about, you know, uh, these autistic ADHD, epileptic, you know, whatever the whatever the special needs uh, child is. Uh, between three and 14 years old, you know, we're having them here. And so instantly that had to be put on hold. Um, We were shut down for about three months. We were still doing some element of guitar repair, kind of a drop off guitar repair thing. But now we're back open. Um, Our courses are back open. Our music lessons are open. Our services are open. Um, The one thing we're not doing is events right now because it's just not worth the risk. Uh, You know, I loved some of the community based events we were having and they were great, uh, just great times. But as a, as a new business owner, um, we've been open less than a year. So we were open about six months when COVID hit. Um, we had a lot of momentum. And, and so we kind of had to start over and retool and look at our business model and see how we wanted to move forward. John, uh, I'm curious because we were talking about like El Camino School is great if you want to learn uh, the tech side of the music industry and you want to learn how to. Because it's hard and there is a proper yeah. way to do it. I mean, John knows that, you know, setting up a stage can be done so horribly. Mm, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, like people yeah. don't know, you yeah, know, oh, ha- yeah. how to do those type of things. You know, I mean, I, 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 I need guidance. Yeah, that. but I'm curious about electric guitars. And mm-hmm. here's my question to you: It seems like the technology in an electric guitar has basically been the same since the incarnation of electric guitar. Like, obviously, the pickups have gotten better and stuff like that. And but has there been any new? like technology when it comes to the standard electric guitar that's some sort of new process that doesn't involve the you know at least what we know of as far as like our incremental there's a pickup there's a you know there's the guts of the guitar has kind of been the same but is there anything yeah it's really i mean that's the bulk of what we teach here you know not only in our two-day courses but in our longer tech course and i want to talk to you guys later about a uh you know great opportunity we've got for the touring tech development course we've got but yeah uh the amps you know tube amps we've got amps that are in here that uh you could buy right now or you could have bought 50 years ago and it's the same stuff um the guitars it's the same stuff pedals you know yes there are modern day pedals and amps and they're all they're computerized just like our cars are nowadays 
nowadays. But the real tried and true stuff that people are out there playing on the big stages, most of that stuff is still, you know, basically analog or old school based. And and if anything, they love the vintage gear. The vintage gear still holds up. So you could bring in an uh, old tube amp to us or an old guitar or, you know, and that's the kind of courses we teach. We don't teach you how to build a computer. We teach you how to build an old school five watt tube amp here at, at the school. So, mm. yeah, the technology has not really changed. And that's why the trade, I think, is still just as valid as it was, you know, however many years ago, where if you look at something like TVs, you know, there's no such when we were all kids, there was TV repairmen, but there's no or men or women or whatever. But there's no that that's not even a job that exists. You throw the thing in the landfill and you go buy another TV. So at least with amps and guitars and pedals and stuff, uh, it's it's relatively the same. Gotcha. Gotcha. And with the amp, like uh, a, when you say tube amp, what is the that's tube? A, that's a great question. Uh, well, it's a it's a basically a high end amp that takes actual tubes. Uh, you know, think about uh, what you would th- you know think about uh, the turn of the century. You know, um, you know, making electronics work and things like that. You know, they're actual vacuum tubes that uh, make the amp run and power where other modern amps they call them solid state amps you know they're just a, a modern day computer and, and that's all they are and, and they're almost impossible to fix but that's the, that's the angle they're also uh, they don't have as rich of a sound and they're also very disposable you, you know normally you throw those out those are the 150 dollars ones you get at, at a big box retailer and you they, they stop working you throw them in the trash you know is there any like okay uh, if you have unlimited budget and say you like you're a rock star, you got a band, right? And uh, I know that there's technology of like wireless and stuff where, and well, I'm actually I say I know, but uh, no, maybe, there is. You well, mean like for your guitar? Yeah, so you'd, like you'd, you'd have like a, a wireless pack on. Yes, or something. Yeah, 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 sure. So the wireless technology, and even with the mics and then everything, is it good enough to be as tried? I mean, I guess nothing is tried true as wired, but uh, is it like for the most part fail safe because i wonder like it seems like it, you mean wireless anything like guitars yes, microphones yeah. that sort of thing Big, I, and i got this because i, I and this was an old special so maybe the, but i was watching well, like, I, i'll have to exit this conversation because i hate wireless everything yeah, yeah, i yeah. hate it yeah yeah, yeah. It, i just hate i'm 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 the old i'm okay with being the old man like even something as simple as like my Xbox. No, I got to plug everything in. It's got to all be wired. Because I see some standups where they'll have a wired mic. Yeah. And then I and then even current like in the past couple years, and then some will have wireless. And then I I'm, hate wireless. And so I, like some trust the wireless enough to be like, all right, this is a huge special I'm filming. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. go wireless. So like even though it could potentially have some sort of like you would like to out. think it wouldn't you know yeah, yeah. or he could just grab a new mic and roll right so I, 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 so is the technology good enough nowadays where the wireless is pretty tried and true I think that you get what you pay for. Again, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, churches, uh, uh, you know, other places that are doing a lot of wireless, um, you know, they can make it work, uh, but. Those large level bands that are doing that, you know, you see Garth Brooks out on the stage with his wireless mic. I mean, that's a that's a very high end system. Um, even here, you know, at the school, I mean, we've got a wireless, small wireless system and a mic, and we always have problems with the thing. You know, I've been a musician for uh, you know o- over a decade you know, with the Bloody Jug Band. We've never switched to wireless. It always seems like it's uh, a, not foolproof. Um, so to answer your question, yeah, I, I don't trust it as much as some people. But when you're on a you're a you know multinational band, uh, you know you're in ears, a lot of that stuff is all wireless based, Bluetooth, all these other things. And you know, the technology is there. I just think that when you go and you spend ninety nine dollars at your local guitar center, you're not going to be getting a foolproof thing. Um, so I always tend to go wired over wireless. Yeah, and, and we do too. I mean, for the most part, with with everything that we use here, because traditionally, and, and John, I don't know if you'll agree with this, but it's like anything that we have in here needs to work all the time, you know, and it also has to be like mm. a budget. You, yeah, you know, yeah, we're yeah. doing this on a budget. So wired stuff traditionally is a lot cheaper. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. wireless stuff it, where the convenience and it might look better. It's not as um, I don't know clunky. Doesn't you know clearing wires out is is a wonderful thing. You yeah, know, yeah, it looks better aesthetically. It's better, but the problem sure. is is that I. I I got tired of buying batteries, you know, or having batteries fail or mm. having interference is a huge in here. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. your y'all cell phones don't even work. I'd be scared to in, introduce yeah. anything wireless, you know? 
Well, and like we talked about last time, we were I think one of the last times I was on, we were doing a cable rehab where, yeah. you know, pe- people could come in and actually, you know, repair their broken cables. So, you know, that's really the only thing that could go wrong is your cable breaks. You know, maybe you got a kink in it or something. But even that you cut the cable on both sides, you, you solder some new connectors on and you've got a, you've got two cables now, you know. And yeah, so, yeah. again, just that just that uh, old school again, I, I, maybe that's the wrong word, but old school technology, it, it's foolproof. It's tried and true. It's worked for all these years and it's going to continue to work into the future especially in the genre of you know rock and roll and things where people are still playing guitars and and you know doing that kind of stuff john tell us a little bit about this this touring tech deal this opportunity that you guys are working on now because i know you mentioned it i want to make sure we get to it before we run out of time here so we have a seven-week course um uh this is this is all pre-quarantine that you know we were promoting a seven-week course for uh, a touring guitar techs and so it's a seven-week course where you can come in five days a week learn the trade of guitar repair amp repair these types of things and get enough season and salt to be able to get out into the industry um, either at a local spot as a repair tech or the the ultimate goal would be to put them out on a major tour as a guitar tech on a major tour uh, you know on the road yeah. now obviously because the industry is a little decimated um, you know, we're finding creative ways to to continue to help people with this, but the trade is not going to go away. And so we have a seven week course. We did launch it right after we were able to open back up, and we just had our first graduating class. It was two gentlemen, Nick and Mac. That's awesome. Um, the, they took the full course. They uh, we're we're doing repairs at uh, Howard Middle School this week. We got a deal to reset up all their uh, guitars over there. Nice. So these guys are now seasoned and ready to go out into the world. Um, we had such a great time. We're going to have another course in September, September fourteenth to October. October 30th. And again, it's a seven week course for $7,000. And so what we're doing, because we know time is tough for everybody, uh, even though it's tough for El Camino school, we still want to be giving back. So we're having an essay contest to win a full scholarship to the next seven week touring uh, tech development course at El Camino school. Um, and you can go to our website. It's a 500 word essay about why do you want to be a guitar tech? It's not super, you know, uh, yeah. I- I involved. Um, you send it on in and on, on August 31st, we're going to pick a winner and that person will receive a full ride scholarship to the next seven week course. And, um, and, and obviously we're trying to trying to get grow awareness because we want be people that wouldn't be able to take the course otherwise to, to be able to participate in this. And we had so much success and we learned so much from the first, um, you know, like I said, some of the field trips and things were canceled. You know, things had to be augmented because of the world we're living in right now. But we felt it was a success. We're excited for the next class, and we want to get the word out there. And this would be something that would be kind of a college alternative, um, something where, you know, you're going to learn a trade now. Now your trade is going to be, instead of an auto mechanic, you're going to be looking at um, guitar repair, guitar and amp setups, and, and all that kind of diagnostics. Yeah, yeah. and I feel <clears throat> people, when they uh... – they're looking for jobs. They're like, I want to travel. I want to, uh, you know, go to different places and have a fun job. And something like, what do I, I guess, nurse. <laughs> Be yeah, nurse. Yeah, like I'm like, uh, <laughs> what, you know, you could be a tech for a, yeah. a Well, band what do you or, like? Well, I like music and traveling. Well, there you go. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, like things, concerts and stuff will get back to. They will. Uh, eventually. And uh, they're going to need. But, you know, and uh, you know what's a good point, John? I bet there's a lot of people finding new jobs right now, a lot of techs finding yes. new jobs because they're forced to, because there's no one uh, that, uh, you know, and then uh, they may stick to that job that they found instead of going back, and there could be a lot of demand for well, these people in this industry. I also believe, and I, John, I, I, I'd like to hear your opinion on this. Okay. I think that, okay, right now we're all stretched. We're all mad, we're angry, we're sad. You know, we know what we've been through. But typically when these type of things happen, there can be, you know, there's usually a a positive side here. And when concerts do come back full bore, I think you're going to have a lot more of the technology aspect of these concerts, these venues and what they do. It's going to get bigger. It's going to have to. Yeah. Because I think concerts will be weighted heavier as kind of a thing and you're going to need more bodies to do all of this yeah. amazing stuff that people right. are going to do. They may up ticket prices to lower the amount of Possibly. people, especially sure. coming back. So there'll be less people in the venue, but more ticket prices, the better production. John, what do you think about like, do you think that the, the, the massive tour is, is that done? Or do you think when it does come back, I, cause I think you're going to, I think you're going to need to put on a bigger show. 
and a crazier show to get people to want to buy those tickets. I think that, yeah, and they're looking at a lot of things. We have friends that are trying to be on the forefront of doing kind of the drive-in. They've even talked about kind of courtyards in hotels, you know, renting a room, uh, you know, get a room and you go out on the balcony and you watch a show. So shows, you're right, might change completely. The things that won't change is it doesn't matter if you're at 100% uh, capacity or 25% capacity, those guitars and that gear yep. and that job is still going to need to be done. Yep. So that's the first one. And even if it's a live stream, or, I mean, these guys aren't going to just, these rock stars are not going to be setting up their own instruments. They're still going to have this infrastructure. The other thing is, you think about, we had Max Stevens. Uh, he was a guest speaker at, uh, at our course, a guest lecturer. He's the guitar tech for A Day to Remember and Bad Religion. So when, when one's on tour, normally the other one's not on tour. What's going to end up happening is that everybody's going to get, in 2021, everybody's going to get back on tour to try to make up for this crazy loss of, of this year and beyond. And so if everybody goes on tour at the same time, time there's not going to be enough techs Correct. um they're going to bring have and the industry as you said there's a lot of lifers that have been you know the old guard of the music industry of the the roadies and stuff a lot of those guys are going to you know maybe not come back they're going to fade off into the sunset maybe this is a good yeah. time to retire so this leaves a great opportunity for young blood and guys that have not been they're not salty they're not seasoned you know they, they, they're still green but they're willing to learn and having passionate young guys I mean you guys know uh, you know get a good intern that really wants to prove himself or you get a young guy that changes the dynamic a lot yeah. uh, but even other elements of the industry that obviously are not going on right now like Dean Guitars we've built a great relationship here at the school with Dean Guitars and they're based out of Tampa Dean's been selling guitars like hotcakes during this entire time. So even though the music industry, as we know it, I'm a professional touring musician. I can't get a gig to save my life. But Dean Guitars, where they're still over there building guitars and they still need these kind of skilled labor, um, these guys are selling guitars like hotcakes because nobody's got anything else to do. So they're yeah. all sitting home you know, playing guitar. Mm -hmm. So there are other outlets. But it's just about finding what those outlets are and having the fortitude. That's why we're still going on with the courses because if we can get somebody trained up now – They'll be ready when the industry comes back. But if you wait for the industry to come back first, you're going to be behind the ball. And we're trying to get people kind of that next generation running right alongside it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I love this idea. Like I, I've been lately trying to and I don't mean to sound like, you know, PD positivity here, but I've been trying to find a a a more positive spin on certain things. Think about all the live streams that are going on right now that bands have been putting on every weekend. Like, every weekend I, uh, since this has happened, since yeah. COVID, I've basically put on my phone on, like, a Saturday night and watched some sort of streamed, amazingly uh, amazing-sounding concert mm. in my headphones, you know, every single weekend, yeah. whether it's, like, you know, something as local as a Will's Pub or, uh, you know, like something like that, or whether it's I'm watching somebody that's going live from the Sydney Opera House. doesn't matter. Yeah. there's Those techs are working, and there's going to be people that need that. Like, if we wanted to do live music in here, we're not having guests in our studio, mm. I would need a tech. Yeah, I yeah. would need somebody to come here, po probably from El Camino School. That's what I would like to do. Wink, wink, hint, hint, mm. and have them set me up. You know, or at least, you know, be the person I can call to help me get a band to play here. You know, yeah, we're going to yeah. need this kind of stuff. Streaming, IT, you know, the web, music. That doesn't go away. It's just mm. the way that and we even, can... And even for us, just by something like I said uh, earlier about the Howard Middle School. Howard Middle School has a magnet uh, pr program for guitars. They Last year, they had 238 kids a day playing classical guitar in their guitar program. And they had 70 guitars. And so we're there right now. Uh, because the in-person school has not started and my techs are there all week basically setting up and redoing all those guitars so the kids have something to work with yeah. you know while and, and the teacher couldn't do that I mean not only did he not have the the overall knowledge he's a great performer and a great player but he didn't know how to and he didn't have the time to set up 70 guitars so yeah. oh you know God. again we're just trying to find outlets that maybe it's not this today and it's 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 changing but it's going to evolve into something that we're you know that's why we're not giving up here and trust me my my budget and some of these things are dwindling uh, it, we ha it has not been lucrative uh, for us you know uh, during this whole covid thing but we just started man we're just getting out of the box so we're having to reinvent things as we go and trying to adapt as best as possible and and, and we're happy to do it because the long term the lo i say it all the time the longer we stay open here uh the more people we can help and the more lives we can affect and and so 
that's the long game. And I, I can't fold the first year in my business, regardless of what the world looks like, because I, I want to be around to s- still continue to help. Yeah, exactly. Well, John, uh, we appreciate it. Um, tell everybody once again where people can uh, – uh, like submit the essay for yeah, yeah. the contest and how people can just find out more information about El Camino School. Uh, El Camino School.com is our website. If you go look up under the uh, Touring Tech Development Program, there is a link to the essay contest. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. We're all over the web. Um, and we have, again, everything from lessons and guitar repair, which is our services that have been keeping us afloat. But we also have two day, a one and two day pedal building and guitar building, amp building classes for hobbyists. And the big shebang is our seven week course that we're currently offering an essay contest for to get a free full scholarship, full seven thousand awesome. dollars scholarship to take our next our next scheduled course in September through October. Yep. Cool. El Camino School dot com. Sam through the uh the link in the Twitch chat room if you guys are interested. John, we wish you nothing but the best, man. We love you guys. Uh, give some love to the entire team there, and we'll check back in once things get rolling again, okay? Thank you for the support, guys. Hopefully we see each other in person sometime. Down <laughs> I know, down. right? Good God. Yeah, look forward to seeing you, man. Take it easy, guys. All right, you too. That is John El Camino School. Mm-hmm. Go check out those guys live via Skype. Yeah, yeah. Man, his Skype feed. Oh, no, I got spoiled. He's great. Yeah, I got yeah. spoiled. How and that good. was his first time using Skype. Well, let everyone else who's going to be on our show take note. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's this, the way to do Skype it. This Skype thing. This now, or nothing. Now, we started using Skype back in 2009 when we started this show. Mm-hmm. And I think Skype finally has it figured out. <laughs> yeah, Just yeah. going to throw that out there. Uh, all right. Let's uh, take a quick... Bye-bye. Welcome to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Our producer, Samantha, is here. And Butler is in the other room. Welcome mm. to the show on this beautiful Friday. How are you, my friend? Mm, good, good. Got new merch on TomandDan.com. Check it out. Um, so uh, I'll just get right into it. Yeah, uh, you want to jump I've been, right I'll I've been put it up right a, now. He's live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been getting a lot of texts from this gentleman. Um, live re- from the coast, mm-hmm. and uh, it's uh, he's calling in with his monthly bit. Have yeah. we determined a name for this bit yet, I, Tuttle? I, I forgot to ask you about that because I knew mm-hmm. that we had had Pariah Mike work on some themes. I've worked on some themes. We have one for Canadian Josh that's locked down. Mike from Mike's weather page is locked down. Uh, mm-hmm. Tuttle not locked down yet, but I can work on that. I just didn't know. Do we have a name for this? Do we know what we're doing? Is, uh, I mean, I would like to. I I think we should call it Radio Desperation. Mm, yeah, we can go that. We can go with uh, Bipolar Roller Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the Bipolar Coaster. Oh yeah, make fun of the guy that tried to commit suicide, Tom. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that, mm, oh come on, wow, I, you, really? you yeah, We got a regular Bubba the Love Sponge <laughs> over here, everybody. Look at him go. I didn't say anything about yeah. that. I just making fun of your mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> you're, right. Sir, you're currently growing a hockey jersey out of your neck, and it's growing over your body. <laughs> <laughs> it starts on my left hand, like District <laughs> Nine. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. Why is your? <laughs> you made him laugh. You made him cry, dude. You've never uh, made. I oh never my been god! A... Okay, Tuds. One District yeah. Nine joke. Now we can it's relax. An you have never been able to crack Tuttle out of animosity character. I know. I know. And Tuttle <laughs> loves to go hard, and he yeah, is yeah. the best at this. I've told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes yes, to, I, any... I, listen. It may every, just that reference alone, <laughs> you know, brings You're... me back to that garbage rose that he made. <laughs> for his wife at the end of the movie. It, 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 was, it was a great movie. <laughs> I thought I we did say something like I Tales from the Trailer that Park that with Tuttle or oh, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? What was that? Tales, Tales from the Park? Yeah, yeah. Tales from the Park uh, with Tuttle. Um, Hobo Fish Camp Adventures? Yeah, something. Mm. We had some. I like Hobo Fish Camp Adventures. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah, write yeah, that yeah. down. Todd, okay. I'll, uh, Todd, I'll get to work this afternoon for you, okay? Mm. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it. So, I know you'll call me back. Hold on. I will. Okay, so. I will. I'll also text you uh, pictures of my mm. family. Mm. I okay, so Tuttle texts me. I had coffee with Tuttle, and then we were going back and forth. We were talking about the best place to host a podcast, stats. Let's get some business out of the way, Tuttle, because you did text me. A... You don't want to have this business meeting on the air. I'm just warning you right Uh-oh. now because I don't want to. probably you. I don't want to put you on the spot. I'm just giving you a heads up. Oh now, if God. you want to go there, we can't. No, no. He, or he, me and Daniel have found that. 
I can only tell people how I feel on the show. Yeah. So it's. Uh, He'll be more real here yeah, than he yeah, would yeah. be if you guys talked off the air. That's yeah, true. Yeah. He's just going to fill your mind full of penny whistles and moon pies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what you want to hear yeah. to avoid. And then any... he'll never follow through well, with anything. Th- that's why. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll this tell is you good. your idea's good, even the... though I know it's bad. Tuttle, this, <laughs> this is actually mm. good. I think we're having a we're having a moment. We're having a breakthrough here. Mm. Here's what just happened. We realize that the animosity that you're feeling from Tuttle is because off the air you lie to him and then you don't follow through. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. But what I'm telling Tuttle now is if you get him on the air, everything you hear, it's mm. almost like having somebody in power that you don't necessarily like. At least you know the media is going to call their BS into You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. since Tom is doing this live on the air, yeah, the yeah. listeners and me uh, and, and uh, Samantha uh, Butler chat and, room. and Twitch chat room, yeah. Tuttle, the YouTubers can all call your BS into question. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Twitch chat oh, room listen, loves I, I have nothing to lose. I don't mind doing it on the air. I'm actually uh, looking out for Tom here on this one. Mm. Like seriously, it doesn't it doesn't make a difference to me either way. I'm gonna be still poor white trash and Oak Hill at a place I call the Hobo Fish Camp. At the end of the day, Tom's gonna go back to his mansion in Winter Park, mm-hmm. and, oh, and no, Dan's it's, gonna go back no, to his. No, it's no, a no, Castleberry no, no. Castle. Yeah, no, it's the, no, it's uh, I've been following this uh, remodel quite uh, intensively. And uh, have you ever heard of a remodel that looks worse than when they started? <laughs> it's yeah, well, that's why like, it. I've seen the pictures. It looks. Like like a bunch of meth heads went in there and stole all the <laughs> copper wiring out of the place. Oh uh, no, that's just that, that. That's the demo part. Look, you haven't when, seen the when they no. put the reveal up. Everybody just say it looks great. But we'll know. <laughs> yeah. We'll know. How dare so they, instead they, of they, instead of like uh, uh, extreme home makeover, instead of move that bus, it's just going to be a big dumpster truck. <laughs> move that garbage truck. Tom is <laughs> the we're going to see it. Tom is the only extreme home makeover where they say ah, the bus is good. <laughs> <laughs> Leave can the we, bus. Can we get back in the bus? Leave that bus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you just park the bus in my driveway? I'll live in that. I'm going to live in the bus. <laughs> Uh, how dare you? Um, also, uh, the like it looks beautiful. Boy, again, the way, I yeah. am so jealous of of you living you look- on the intercoastal. Your mosquito lagoon is right yeah. there, beautiful. He's yeah. sober. Yeah. His skin looks good. He's dressed in a nice polo, fresh haircut. The sun is shining. You're on the water. I, it looks awesome. Again, like I just smoked a bunch of weed. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing you're living it. the life. You're yeah, yeah. doing it right. Oh, also, I told the I told everybody because uh, Samantha's getting on me about upping my Adderall dose because I'm a uh, I get distracted. Oh, how much you up to, man? You want you want to trade some? No, he hasn't I mean, increased at all. Yeah, I I just done ten milligrams and that's it. Oh, and you the, pussy! <laughs> I, I told her that uh, I was like, dude, Tuttle, he's on like a lot. I think like thirty milligrams Whoa! twice a day. I'm on thirty milligrams twice a day. That's yeah, a lot, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. That's six Jeez times Louise. the amount. Yeah, yeah. You really can get some. I'm on. Uh, I'm on like a. Full one milligram of Xanax, <laughs> not a point five, not a. I'm on yeah, one of those in the yeah. morning, one at lunch, and five at night. Yeah, yeah. Well, the downers are hey, different. Yeah. Hmm? You know, you know what I like doing? I like, I call it the Oak Hill White Trash Speedball. Hmm. I will take an Adderall right before I go to bed and four Tylenol PM and let them fight each other. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a hell of a ride. <laughs> Your heart's going to give out. I, I, oh, do, yeah, I do like but, the idea again, of a, uh, it's a handicap match between, <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, if you're doing wrestling, right? It's a handicap match between one Adderall, who's the strong man, <laughs> and four luchadors, which are the, yeah, the, yeah, the Xanax yeah. or oh, the yeah. uh, Tylenol PMs. Uh, yeah. And there's a... Uh, uh, yeah, that's the, also called the Heath Ledger. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah. You know, the heart is the only uh, you tap out. I remember. <laughs> I'll never forget the time I was on a plane, Tuds, with 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 Tom. We we're about to take off, and he was talking to his wife on the phone. And I'll never forget. Uh, the the most disappointing time, one of the most disappointing times in my life is when you realize that your business partner is having a conversation with his wife about how many pre-flight beers you had and how mm. much Xanax you took because they actually think you're going to kill yourself on the plane. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. accidentally. Yeah, yeah right, I'm doing, yeah, yeah. Uh, you thought I was going to pull a juice world. Yeah, yeah. That, that's when I just slide your pith helmet down like <laughs> yeah, commando. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are got, you just uh, abandoning your golf cart, Yeah, title? that's weekend at Yeah, nobody's going to steal it. Oh, okay. Are you on a beautiful <laughs> It's on a low battery right now. Are you on a beautiful white sand beach? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Is that a volleyball <laughs> court? Uh... I mean, no. There. I mean, it's just. I, I've given you a tour of the the hobo fish camp here. Look, it's yeah. kind of empty right now. So okay. hold on, let me see. See, see, it's kind of like 
Empty. Hey, hey Tuds, is this your new uh, phone that your sponsor gave you? Can you rent? Yes. yes. This is great. Uh-huh. Can you a rent Pixel RV now? spots there? Is that like rentable? Yeah, it's all rentable. Oh, if I, I mean, get my rooftop tent. Tom. But like small time, I mean, or short term rentals. Like if I just want yeah, to go. Yeah, yes. Weekend, whatever you want. Oh, Ooh, Todd, Tom will, and Dan spend a weekend at Hobo Fish Camp. I'll get my rooftop tent and we'll drive out there and stay with uh, Todd's. Now, yeah. You said it excitingly. Like, uh, It'll I was be fun. Be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, wait. Don't discount Adderall <laughs> and Tylenol PMs. <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's a hell of a party. Uh, hey, oh, Todd. Dude, man, could, I mean, could you imagine, like, because they start fighting each other, you think Tylenol PM is going to come out strong, but it kind of sneaks up on it you. Does. Adderall throws uh, the knockout blows right at the beginning, <laughs> but the PM, uh, you know, comes in on a run in and basically hit you over the head with a steel chair yeah <laughs> don't forget the kendo sticks so todd's uh plug your sponsor real quick that gave you the pixel because the quality oh. of this phone has been really nice yeah no uh it is a uh, boost mobile uh, i actually interviewed the you're, you're ceo by, and found what you're sponsored by mr boost no he's sponsored by no, boost well, mobile. peter he... peter peter adderton who is the ceo and founder of boost mobile he's starting a new uh <laughs> line of pay uh, pay as you go cell phone type deal uh, the guy's the richest man i've ever talked to in my life yeah. and, and it was great to be able to talk to him how hold on how had you, him on his show how did you get the founder of boost mobile to do an interview with you and sponsor your well, podcast boost mobile found him they were like <laughs> we want to go to the most desperate patient one we have <laughs> <laughs> hold on no seriously would you who'd you email how'd you pull that off oh hey um i'm sorry Mr. I have a business degree, kind of jealous that I was able to get a rich CEO uh, on my show. I think oh! he's thinking about uh, firing Butler and seeing who you got as a salesman. No, <laughs> we can never do that. Too much of a liability. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a toss up. It's like literally like, it's like, uh, it's like oh. do, these pa- uh, do these brown pants look brown? <laughs> You're like, do I want to get stuff done and maybe be killed? <laughs> or and, <laughs> do you want to get nothing also, done and be safe? <laughs> Also, I signed a big deal with a new sunglass company, Vaporshades.com. If you go to Vaporshades.com, put in the uh, promo code Tuttle, you're going to get like 10, 5, 10% off. I'm not sure, but just enter in the promo code. <laughs> you're going to get it for cheaper. Vaporshades.com. Um, they basically uh, are going to allow me to survive and buy as much Tylenol PM and Adderall that I need. <laughs> Vaporshades.com. It's the only pair of sunglasses that hold your vape rig. <laughs> right in front of your big pig face. <laughs> <laughs> There's sunglasses and it has like a, a de- an attachment that swings down and it holds your vapor rig like because I want that. Hold on. I gotta do their tagline if oh, I wanna help touch. Okay. Because your arms they suck. That's the tagline. <laughs> I don't know, how did you? Okay, he's doing back, good, man. He's, he's got good sponsors. He's back hustling. to Boost Mobile. No, how did you get the Boost? Boost? Is legitimate. They gave him a free phone. He's trying out a Pixel now because he's always. Yep. Gonna, uh, he's we got to try and get Cricket right. <laughs> <laughs> With I mean, the to- Tony Little and those Blob guys, I hate the Blob guys. Did- nah, we lost it. I wanted boost. Tuttle beat us to it. I'm, Anyways, I'm- if if this first uh, run goes well, they want me to be their spokesperson uh, coming up in their next campaign. Yes. <laughs> Did they uh, <laughs> wait for no, Tom? Tom, why are you shitting on? Oh, Tom? Right, right, right I'm up. not doing anything. I didn't say anything. I just made no, a tiny are. sound you, effect. You, you want to keep your thumb on me. You, you want to be better than me, and that's exactly what it is. You can't be happy for my success and I'm trying to do something, make something of my life, stop drinking, try to better myself, get in shape, and all you do is like, oh, yeah, yeah, Tuttle can't be taken seriously. I don't know. You know what sucks is we can never camp here because whether this is a work or whether uh, this is real, uh, undoubtedly, no, it's you. It's ev- you. It's every you. hobo thinks that we are horrible. People based on the way that Tuttle sits in a in a golf cart and screams at us every time we talk to him. <laughs> oh, no, homos don't listen. They, uh, they but I want them to. We need everybody on our side, Tom. Uh, they- Here, you know what, Tom? I'll let you just take it. I will get you in touch. With the boost, you can take my sponsor because no. you know take- you're a rich yeah. right wing Republican now. <laughs> yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll do it, it. Tuttle. Tuttle, he'll not- do it. He did it to Chris Fisher. And no, he'll do I it to didn't. you. No, I don't do he'll that. do it to anybody. No, I didn't. Snake in the grass. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do anything. Yeah. No, I didn't. You did. <laughs> 
You did. I had no idea. It was the plan I, the whole time. No, it you wasn't. Did it? I listen. I'm just. I'm bumbling through. I have <laughs> nothing oh, yeah, I do yeah. is on purpose. You know, you can't <laughs> always just put your hands up and be like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know how all of your clients' money's in my bank account. What's happening? It's, ah. Here, here, hold on. Here, I'm gonna scream it from the mountaintops. Here, hold on. Don't scream. He's gonna scream. Hold on. Take a shot. Tom Van trying to steal my money. <laughs> Don't scream at that. Uh, that nice what is that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a crab fisherman or something. Um, it's, oh, hold on, is that my boat? <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I knew they were taking it. It's happening again. I found another weird koozie. <laughs> Did you? <really? laughs> I'm telling you, someone's yeah. going out. Tom, Tom's the only guy I know leaves his boat at a marina where they're like, "Oh, this is a ride boat we take out every day." Yeah, yeah. They did ask me, "Are you going out next week?" And I was like, "No." Now they they're like, know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they're renting it out to some other family. Hi, right, Mr. Ryan, taking your boat out next week? <laughs> Double oh, dipping? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, well, oh, that's too bad. Weather's gonna be great. All right, so, we'll call uh, us if you need it, but call us way in advance, and so we're not in your room. I mean, <laughs> so we're not. <laughs> so, Tuttle, um, uh, before we get to tales of the hobo camp, or <laughs> tell me your great event oh, how idea. Come we've never done a tales from the grift. No, no yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you need to get skinnier, Tuttle, and grow your hair out. <laughs> I will. Uh, I, I mean, I can become white trash Jesus again. Well, <laughs> speaking of your hair, Tuttle, when you Cut it that short. It yeah, does got a have... It's got like a Bobby Hill got AIDS. <laughs> I, listen, guys, well, it, I, when I go to Tampa, I get my ha- my haircut done at a man named Bezo's house. <laughs> he films all of the local rap musicians' uh, videos. He 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 gets paid to to film rap videos. He has this um. And it's so freaky. He has this trunk full of prop money that the rappers use for for their videos, and the shit looks real as hell. Mm. And and it's like a trap house. Every so often, somebody will knock on the back door. Things will be exchanged, and he'll get back to cutting my hair. Uh, now, why drive all the way to Tampa? Are you because looking at I that go shave over job? there to get my Adderall refill? And mm-hmm. while I'm there, I get the haircut taken care of. Uh. It's only five bucks. Uh, now why For the Adderall. <laughs> why uh, do you have to go to Tampa? Why can't they call your closest CVS? Well, you know, because if you you, you uh, not you must not know the rules of Adderall. It is a uh, I think a Schedule Two drug. They can't call it in. They need a hard copy receipt of it. Uh, as far as I know. Oh, so yeah. you so you go in there for the doctor. Yes, oh, okay. and, <laughs> and and he cuts me a deal. He's a big uh, fan of the Bubba Army. Oh, there <laughs> it is. There it is. Shocking. <laughs> a fan of the bubble. Uh, guy. Listen, yeah. I got to do what I got to do, Tom. I mean, you are just judging me. You're not. You're looking. And you know you are. Like, I don't have insurance. I don't work for a multi million dollar uh, podcasting company where I can get insurance. I don't so, even. <laughs> oh, like, did you get? Did you actually buy some shades? I'm looking at the website. It is a uh, 15% off with coupon code Tuttle at what? VaporShades.com. We don't have any codes for nothing. <laughs> I want some vapor. Buy we got the codes, dude. They're pretty nice. Hey, nice, nice. Coupon and code I, actually works. Pick out, pick out what you want on the website, and I will get some glasses sent to you. Yo, wow. let me get those Barracudas, Tuttle. Uh, yeah, oh, let- those companies are scam. They just pay you per promo code. It's a small time money. Uh, why you got a crap <laughs> on it? He's doing good stuff. I'm not. I'm just telling you. You're, wait, you're actually you. doing the bit now. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it is. I'm real. just telling you the truth. It's, con- <laughs> it's confirmed. This is real. <laughs> All right. You, 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 do you want to hear? Do you want to hear my business idea? If Tom wants yes. to be a dick, I'm gonna put him on the spot right, right. now. Oh, no, no. Well, I, Let's do it. I just. I want to hear the business idea, Tuttle. I really do. Well, yeah. You, okay, you so said. Tom, you, okay. How, how old are you right now, Tom? I am. 38 years old. So you still got a little bit. Are you lying? I didn't really. I, you got to be 39. No. Pushing for, I mean, you look like you're pushing 40. No, no, no. Well, it's, the, it's the nose. Uh, I need to <laughs> dial his key light back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I reddened his nose. You got to powder it. You, you, you are kind of getting a little bit of a gin blossom nose. Yeah, you know that, right? I got yeah. sunburned over the. I was at Disappearing yeah, Island two days in a row. You got sunburned from White Claw. <laughs> 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 drink, it, it sunburned me from the inside. Turn oh, my no. Nose, turn my nose red. Okay, well, then this bit might have to wait a little bit longer. No. I, was, I was looking through my Facebook memories. Uh, oh. uh, do you remember knocking me out about 10 years ago oh, during God. an MMA match? I saw... I've been working out 
I am in the best shape of my life. He is, and he... when you turn 40, I want a rematch. Oh, and I've God. got a perfect angle. He sent but me a you're picture. not going to do it. You have too much to lose. You're fighting somebody that's desperate. But I think this could be the hugest event. Now, I've been training with Rob Kahn. He is the first American to be able to open up <laughs> a, on, a, a Cock? Who is Rob Cock? <laughs> Rob, Rob Kahn. Oh. He trained under Hoist Gracie. Oh, the, oh. The, the old Rob. No, I, I'm Rob Cock. And I stopped. Okay. Right. And I studied right, under right. You know what? Don't worry about it. Fuck oh, my no. idea. Oh, come oh, on, no. Stop, Stop what you guys did. Stop cursing, by the way. This is on radio. Oh, I didn't know this was radio. I told you. We can all do it on the radio. No, you said it was for Friday's show. I'm sorry. No, Friday's no. Friday's radio show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I, do you want to start over? Do you want to... I'll... Never mind. No, 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 no we no, can't no. stop. No. We Some can't start. Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> we can't stop. We can't stop. We can't start. So, okay, I tunnel. You're, so oh you're God, sorry, Rob yeah. Cox calling. Yeah, I don't mean to cause you any extra work. It won't happen again. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Daniel's now screaming the c word. I know. I'm like, <laughs> oh, all that's right, a name. That's three. That's it's four. a name. So, uh, okay, so. What's your idea, Tuttle? So now uh, you, you so want to box you me when I turn 40? Seth, you, you have Seth Pepperoni okay. mm-hmm. as your trainer. I got, we both have uh, two MMA guys training us. Rob Kahn. Battle of the 40 year olds. I want, I think it could be a huge event. Okay. So you, uh, now I, okay. So Tuttle, this is very 90s, very radio. You're like 90s. You mm. got a semi right now from this idea. <laughs> well, I know people will show up. That's the problem with these things is that if we, me versus Tuttle, when I turn 40, you know, like, which gives us two years for the. Uh, yeah, the pandemic can blow over. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, and I know it would draw a crowd, right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. uh, People will come out just. To see that, who wouldn't, right? Like, right. I, I, I don't care if you beat my face in. I really don't care if you beat my face in. Well, that's the problem, Tuttle. So, when what's in it for me? To what do I got to I prove? I guess you don't like money. <laughs> so, okay, so wait, are we charging for this event? Tell me. Yeah, the why business. not? I mean, why? Why wouldn't we? So, okay, so we charge. Now, could we get it into like a? You watch I'll it online. It on well, <laughs> so, where? <laughs> well, I mean, there's probably services now that you can go behind a paywall. You could do your own pay-per-view, right? Like, uh, didn't uh, old uh, Corey Feldman try to do yeah, that? I mean, yeah, there, but it didn't work. There are <laughs> so, there are places where you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could go behind a paywall, and you have to and then to watch the live Correct. stream. Sure. Um, and and if that's the case, I mean, then we could do this. I mean, before I turn forty. You know, uh, you're 40 right now, right, Tuttle? Yes, I'm 40 right now, yes. Uh, um, and uh, so we But could... I am in the best shape of my life, Tom. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, don't don't <laughs> put me off, man. Do you want to do a hard... pose down? I will come <laughs> to Baldwin Park, and we will do a goddamn pose down. I that, You know what? Let's Ooh. do that. Mm. I want to come in, pose down against you, shirtless. You got to wear a mask. And, and we'll see who's got, got it going on. Oh, oh no! no. I, I, I like you. the phrase. Let's see who's got it going on. <laughs> yes. Uh, I also believe that it should be nude, fully nude. <laughs> oh, I'm down with that. I have no problem being nude. I, I, yeah, I, I know you I don't. got completely naked, no problem at all, in front of Tom and Tiffany that yeah. one day. Oh, we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> <laughs> I do think about that every once in a while, and think about how funny it is. We're standing on the shore of the lake at uh, Secret Hideaway. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> and then we're on. No one else around. It's me, Tiffany. I'm holding the old monster stun phone until like I'll get naked and we're messing around. He's he was trying to show off in front of <laughs> Tiffany. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He, he can though. That's the. I'll never <laughs> yeah, do a he pose can back off. It up. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's uh, it's real. I, we, <laughs> anyway, so I'm not doing a nude. Also, I'm gonna go yell at this guy weed eating while I'm trying to do my no, call. No, and no, what the no, hell is he doing? No, no, don't yell at anybody. Yeah, um, leave everyone alone. So, um, again, I I'm failing to see what's in it for me. Like, uh, well, he's gonna. He's saying you can make a bunch of money off of it. He's gonna make you a superstar. Yeah. Mm. How much money? Like, because that. 
I don't know yeah, how. Yeah, what do you charge? Guy? You, 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 you sponsor the hell out of it. Get people to sponsor. Pay at, the, at you know the the door price. Make it something affordable. Get a lot of people to come out. It's exposure for me. I mean, you all know if you don't, you need it. You know, I just want to make a name for myself. Plus, it was kind of unfair the last time we fought. You got to wear a bear suit which is kind of padding. I will say I was on about nine or 10, uh, 10 milligram hydrocodone at the time. So <laughs> I didn't feel any of your punches. Uh, oh, I, uh, total also Ooh. quit telling people I knocked you out, uh, uh, on Twitter because people <laughs> believe it. <laughs> and, I, and I think about defending myself, but I'm like, no, don't. Oh, you read that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm always linked in those. And then I just retweet them like crazy. I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know. You're, 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 you're <laughs> yeah, causing yeah. the problem, by the way. It, no, it's passive. I just, Remember I just, when you almost button. permanently blinded me, blinded me oh, with a resin, resin chair. chair yeah. It, uh, total is a different time. I've, I've, uh, I went through the phase of the, you know the, the 90s radio stunt boy yeah uh, that's why it call, that's why it's called phases they come and go you're due for another phase of just uh mm. complete recklessness he's selling it to me <laughs> i'm on board i'm I on board you i know you're on board i enjoy you're, all you're of just it. Well, let's do this tom let's do this tom let's let's make some money man i i can't even come up with a uh, a figure that it would take for me to you know, get back in the boxing ring and no, and, this is not boxing. This is straight up MMA. Oh god, <laughs> no gloves, no gloves. I, no, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is MMA, man. That's what we did last time. Because, because here's how, like, it's uh, why don't you guys do like capoeira? No. All right, Tom. Maybe, oh, maybe no, no, we got another. No, no, no. Wait. That <laughs> that was from the movie, right? Uh, I think. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just having a flashback. We do I have know. a uh, suggestion in Twitch. If Tom doesn't want to fight Tuttle, we do have our uh, our friend Remy who might uh, want to to okay. box when Tuttle. You, when you Remy make a woman, a, when you make, the only man I'm fighting is Tom. I will take on any woman. No, when you me. when you make a clone fight the original, mm -hmm. then yeah. they both explode. <laughs> I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a paradox. Yeah, yeah. And I'm Remy's not a fighter. Plus, yeah. he changed. I found out the you name of his tequila though. I found out of the name of his new show. I don't know if I'm no, what at liberty. Mean? It's uh, Remy's Roundtable. Oh, okay. It's been like that. Oh, yeah. that little tease. And I'm pretty sure if we get snack. Remy and Tuttle fighting, like that's some sort of uh, federal hate crime. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, you're not supposed to do Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're there. Yeah, we'll get can't. a lot of uh, yeah, we'll... sanctions. Um, and so, I don't even know what a sanction so what's is. What's the hold up, Tom? Why, why, why are you breaking my shoes here? <laughs> I don't want to do it, Tuttle. And, uh, why? And, well, why? Give me, give me a good reason. Well, one reason is um, that people. Your wife will... won't let you. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not her. <laughs> she, well, yeah, she'll be. Uh, She's not gonna like that. Adamantly against it, yeah. uh, but also, um, people will think. Don't less you want to? Don't, don't, don't you want Tommy and Max? To be able to see their dad once again go for that glory back when you were the king of Orlando, when you were partying and doing backflips at Mako's. Don't you want them to be able to see that in person one time in their life? It, it's a, the exact opposite. It would be, I'd be like the dad from Legends of the Fall. Yeah. I'd be screaming at my wife, don't let my boy see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I agreed to do this, yeah, yeah. I, would move, I would have them... Literally at, at their grandma's house with no TV. I don't think they'd understand what was happening, <laughs> no. nor do I think that they would be into it at all. No. You know, because it's not uh, like you're a boxer. Like, boxing kids uh, grow up uh, around their dad training all the time, so they understand it. It's like part of their family. I, also, Tuttle, and uh, I know this is just going to flare things up, but I have absolutely no doubt that I could beat you. <laughs> Eat very easily. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. uh, and uh, And so... To me, really? it's not even a wouldn't be a challenge. And then when I do beat you, it's kind of like that when I punch the old man. Everybody like thinks I'd lose, and they were betting against me. And then when I won, they just started Listen, making fun of me I, about punching an old man. So they're they're gonna do cares? the same. You think I had a problem knocking out a chick that had the curvature of the spine, the scoliosis? Knocked around two punches on my first very first fight for Ron Fez. You think I cared? Hell no. That bitch was standing in between me and a payday, and I took her out. Yeah, yeah. Though so that's what I don't want to become. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole point. Well, I mean, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. 
No, no, I pushed that oh, one down long yeah. ago. Turn right? the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I walked it away in a chest. Once again, keeping uh, me down. I can't release that. Well, what if we find you an opponent? Would you take anybody <sighs> other than Tom? It's not just Dame. Mm, I know. I understand. I mean, we got Butler, Dobbs. What about Dobson? <laughs> oh, what you about, do hate Dobson. Yeah. What about... Uh, Tuttle Dobson, twenty twenty. <laughs> no, twenty twenty. It'd have to be okay. Like if I beat Dobson, I get oh. his job and I get to come in every single day. Dobson said, "Bring it on." Oh, way. Dobson's in. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this may be a Tony Rage scenario. <laughs> 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 we still hey, whatever. You know what? So, hey, so it's Tuttle you like versus Dobson. Job on the line. Yeah. Or- it's Tuttle Dobson Jobson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tuds, you'll like this. Uh, Tom and I. Oh, I can't say it. I'm not gonna say it. No, <laughs> no I'm not mean, gonna. Well, no, I mean, it, it, it was funny. I'll, t- I'll text you later. I can't tell this on the air, or uh, mm. it'll hurt feelings. I'll text uh, you later, and it'll make you laugh. So, Tuttle, right now, um, we're gonna we're gonna uh, table that idea for until further notice. But uh, I wrote it down. And we can come back to I haven't seen your hands move once. (laughs) (laughs) He forgot he could see you. He forgot he's on camera. (laughs) (laughs) Can you see my big red nose? (laughs) Yeah, he made a comment about it. (laughs) I told you. Um, All right. Why do you wait? You know, you know, did you get some teeth work done? You got like Steve Harvey teeth. (laughs) (laughs) It's a light. It is the light. The light's got him shining. (laughs) Uh, <laughs> Big old jumper. You should too. see his mustache in his purple suit. <laughs> wait, wait, it's you terrible. gotta wait. It is, it is pretty thin. It's that blonde mustache, pedophile type hair. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, all right, so we got one tail. We got time for one tail from the trailer park. Anything happen uh, with him the last time we talked to you, Tuttle, over at the? Yeah, OK? I um, you know, I I I've been sober. And I haven't really, besides the Adderall and weed, uh, that's about the only thing I take. And I've been having these mm. moments of blackouts. Not what sober means, but yes. <laughs> uh, I, well, I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Tom. Yeah, I know. I know you stopped yeah, drinking, yeah, which is good. Do you, I you realize the substances I used to put on my body, in my body, on a daily basis? So if I can knock it down to I two. Agree. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. And, uh, and you it's know, the doctor prescribed Adderall I, and then I, THC is fine. You know, I never know what's real and what's not real here. And this is like the most stressful part of my day. I'm like, I, <laughs> and I look and I constantly, I'm like, I look at Sam. I'm like, yeah, yeah. he's going to kill you. Yeah. I was like, what's happening? What's happening? It, it, this is the most dangerous broadcasting we do. It is. Way. This yeah, is like, like, we don't do it. Like most of the stuff safe. Yeah, I'm like, no. all right, we'll talk to this. This guy, is this literally. Guy. When we get here, I'm like, yeah. oh, did it? I was like a yeah. across. I mean, this is this is the podcasting equivalent of being a roughneck. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, it's radio Russian roulette. No, you never know what I'm going to say. It could be that bullet's going to blow the back of your head off. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> uh, so, all right, plug your podcast. Huh? <laughs> Don't know what. All right, I'm sorry. Anyways, long story uh, short, I, uh, I I I I woke up and came to, and I guess I had been sitting on the toilet of the public restroom here for way too long. Uh, basically. Um, taking care of things if you know what i'm talking about Mm. uh and and i think somebody like was knocking on the door and it completely like startled me and and i i fell off the goddamn uh toilet seat Mm. the lid came off the top of it and i had to do that little thing when you freak out because the water started going everywhere that emergency handle at the bottom uh it was it was a little embarrassing but i have you fell asleep (laughs) And blacked out oh. on the public hobo fish camp <laughs> toilet, Why are masturbating, you? and then you fell off. <laughs> I I was doing his business. Huh? Doing his and, business. And then you fell off, and then the lid <laughs> flew open, and the water was spraying, and you had to use the emergency valve. Are you not? Shut al- off. Are you not allowed to use the toilet at, in the uh, not for trailer? De- not for de- deuces. Oh, not not to take care of that. I mean, I, I might listen. It's, I mean, my mom walking in on me, I would just stare at her awkwardly and she would just like back in slowly into the bedroom. Um, uh, so she would act like she didn't see what I was doing. Mm-hmm. But my dad, my dad would definitely have a problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I I thought it was the uh, okay. So Daniel was right. Yeah, he was right. <laughs> no, oh, he was I right. kind of know these things. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, then what happened after that? Uh, you. 
the water I just, coming. You know, like per usual, I acted like uh, nothing was going on. I have no shame. Mm. I've been in very, very precarious uh, situations. So I'm sure I'm going to get caught for sex crimes here. Oh, what? what? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's not. Okay, just plug your podcast, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. No, you're uh, fine. I'm trying to do my fine. best. Yeah. I don't want to ruin our friendship here. You're not. And I really do feel like I've everything's ruined our fine. Friendship. No, everything's great. <laughs> don't say you're doing your best. <laughs> because I'm like, oh. Okay, hey, we're laughing. <laughs> Not like it's all courtesy laughs. It's trying to make the trying to make the suicidal guy feel good. Oh, God, is, it all, the, is it the Tuttle Daily Podcast? <laughs> yes, the Tuttle Daily Podcast found on iTunes Podcast, iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh 315Live.com. Just wherever. Just search the Tuttle Daily Podcast. The I don't even know if people are listening or not. Live. <laughs> you want a Miami? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> live. Every night he goes live. It's 315 oh, live. Oh, okay. El three one Caliente five. is the Tano Show. 305 live. Spicy nerd. All right, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't. I don't blame you if You're you don't fine. ever want to do this again. No, oh, we're doing it fine. again. Oh, trust me. We're doing it again. Oh, oh, hey, uh, Sam, I, I just want to compliment you. I, I love your uh, your uh, new picture you posted. I, I paid you a compliment, but I think I creeped you out, and I apologize. Nope, it was fine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> what, the whole... uh, what is happening? <laughs> no, I posted geez, a picture I mean, on Instagram. Sam, Sam, as always. Sam has always been extremely right. attractive, I, but that picture was just yeah. amazing. Did you, you didn't fall that? asleep on the toilet? <laughs> <looking at it. laughs> How'd you know? I had colored okay. contacts. All right, we gotta That's go. The last thing I saw. <laughs> the last thing I saw is somebody's knocking. <laughs> uh, water's going out. I, I came to. <laughs> all right, uh, all, all right, Tuttle. We'll talk to you. Be good, man. All right, bye. All right, bye. Oh, he's mad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they, 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 luckily, we see that he's on the coast, so we have time. <laughs> that could have been pre recorded. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen enough oh, horror movies. He was at Lake Baldwin. I've seen yeah. enough horror movies to know that these guys get clever in the way that they trick you, you know. Be Hello, like, Sydney. Like, we see ourselves broadcasting <laughs> yeah. in the background. Like, <laughs> standing in the window. <laughs> this is like. Uh, I know Ugh. what you did last summer, but not with young teens. <laughs> it's like with old fat dads. Hey, in that movie, I know what you did last summer. Yes. Didn't Jack Black play one of the teens? No. I think he did. No. He's in one of those movies, isn't he? I He's think, not in that one. I think he plays a young teen. This is way back in the day. He really? plays like a, a a role that he should not have been playing. We got to take a break. Oh, okay. Uh, bye bye. Welcome back to a corporate time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha always gathers emails, and we never get to them. Let's <laughs> let's do it. Let's yep. for once in our lives. Let's read some damn emails. Samantha, what you got in the old email bag today? All right, this one uh, is about the Nickelodeon Resort. Hi, Dan. Long time BDM here. I've heard you mention your rescheduled trip to the DR for a stay at the Nickelodeon Resort and yeah. wanted to tell you that my family and I stayed there for a week last winter and it was great. My wife is a Dominican, so we've been aware of the resort for a long time, but never pulled the trigger because of the price. Sure. After some good career moves, I was finally able to take my wife and two kids there. If you want to know anything about it, hit me up. Yeah, um, I uh, might take you up on that. I saved that email. But yeah, I've heard yeah. nothing but good things about this Nickelodeon resort in uh, the DR, but yeah, yeah. eventually um, you'll be able to go there. I mean, know? I guess if you know, we may. It's funny because like we're already talking about other places. You know mm. what I mean? It's like yeah. it's almost like yeah, yeah. it's almost like we got excited to go, and and that's kind of what I, I was. I'm glad you picked that email because this kind of I had written this down on my phone. It's like it's funny how there is so much truth to what you were saying about the anticipation of going to the DR to go into to the Nickelodeon resort. It's almost like that's run its course. Now we've You're already moving on. Yeah, yeah. It's like in my no. mind, I've already been there. Mm, yeah. Because you even went, though I have not, you went through the planning and everything and then it fell through because of COVID and then now it's over. Like, yeah. it's like, it's, yeah. you can't go back to it. It's like, I've already been through the experience of getting excited about it and the disappointment of, and then I, yeah, I, I, I got over like, and, and finally, face facts with I'm not going and then that's behind you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like 100%. you can't revisit it. It's weird. Yeah, and yeah. I'm kind of like makes that. Sense. I'm kind of like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. I I do really really want to go and I know Maisie really wants to go. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. else you got? 
All right, we got Tom and Dan, Butler and Sam. Jim from Lakeland here. Oh, you did it like he reads it, too. Good job, Sam. <laughs> I'm in a Lakeland Crime Watch Facebook group, and a recent post set me to scratching my head. Someone posted a photo complaining about three Swampfoot kids in a loud, high-end go-kart who were racing up and down the street in front of her house. The kids appeared to be 8 to 12 years old, and all were we- wearing helmets. The youngest was in the middle of the bench seat, the next youngest was on the right, and the oldest was driving. In the photo, the driver, sporting the sweetest rebel flag tank top, was flipping the bird to the person who was taking the picture. Solid gold, but the post was soon deleted. The responses ran the gamut from how dare you post a photograph of someone else's children, to leave them alone, they're just having fun, to talk to their parents, to call the cops, go-karts aren't street legal. I lean towards leave them alone, while Mrs. Jim leans towards call the cops. Is the poster entitled to peace and quiet, or is she a grouchy old bitch? Cuss and dis- cuss and discuss. Mm. Uh, ooh, I go back and forth on this one. You know, like I, I've had. Uh, mo- I've been that kid before, not the rebel flag yeah. and the flicking off a neighbor, but we were yeah. we would go up and down. The I'll tell you this. Go-kart. Maybe I'll th- maybe I'll in my, from my perspective, I answer it like this: If you want to do that, the Confederate flag and the the bird. Are not helping me. Yeah, no, yeah. Right. Your case, if you're respectful, respectful then yeah, yeah, like I am like that. Like if I see kids doing something that I know they shouldn't be doing, if they're not really hurting anybody, yeah, injuring themselves, it's not dangerous. Yeah. they're not loud. They're just kind of going about their business. Yeah. Then I'm gonna be more apt to let you do what you're doing. So you want to ride your go kart? Ride it. Yeah. Be careful though. Yeah. Be, well, of course, but I'm just saying that's not helping your case if you're just gonna. Tick all the boxes of uh, me calling the cops. What, yeah. what? I just thought of this, but I bet you this won't won't be a problem in the future because everything will be electric and everything's turning electric. And then yeah, you I won't think even hear it. The sound of the two stroke, like usually they put a like a lawnmower engine yeah, or a whatever, like a, a little uh, pressure Briggs washer. And Stratton. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that you know now they're loud and stuff, and so that can get the neighbors to get mad that you're going up and down the street because they hear the, if you were an electric go-kart and they never even hear you yeah and that's then, true and then i think the problem solved like uh i think it's the Confederate noise Confederate flags are really loud though well it was this tank top that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but uh, i'm with you if like if you're not being a like an a-hole yeah don't and, be like doing burnouts in front of my driveway or anything but, but i will i will tell you if like kids were going up and down the street with a old school two-stroke or whatever like small engine go-kart that's loud it will get annoying after a while yeah, yeah. Like, i'll let them do like if you're just going down and turning around my cul-de-sac i'm not gonna be like wow like shake my hand yeah. right but if non-stop for a long period of time i i'd never call the where cops. do you guys stand on dog I, barking Ooh. Uh, Fairly certain my dog barks all day long now Ooh. at my new house. That's a hard one though, you know, like because all day long I think you have to say something. Like, well, all day that I'm here, so like what six, seven hours? Yeah, 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 yeah. That maybe. Six hours? No, it's a small. We're here dog. that long. It, can Ew. you? Is it? Is you, He's it, a chewini. Is it loud outside? Like, do you think your neighbors? Inside I can only the house? really hear it when I as I'm getting like really close to my front door. Okay, then yeah, I think it's you're not okay. that bad. He's little, but you know we have. We have some neighbors, I don't know what direction it is, but we have some some neighbors down the block that they have a little dog that barks a lot, and they must not like the fact that it barks. Like, it's just a barking dog. You know, it's it's, it's personality. It yeah. likes barking, or that's its mechanism. And they'll just put it out on their balcony, yeah. and then they'll just let... I feel bad for the dog. They'll just let it go nuts, and it, it will bark. Like one time we timed it, and, and I think it was out there just barking for five solid hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and right. and I, I look, it's okay, and I can block it out, you know, whatever. But I felt really bad for the dog, right? Because yeah. it's tile, it's hot outside. You little dog, you're out there, you know. Yeah, obviously, yeah. it's barking because it doesn't want to be out there, and you hate it. Just get rid of it. It's your responsibility <laughs> to curb your dog bark. You know, and not bother yeah. everybody else. Like, uh, if it's a weird situation that, uh, like, you know, fireworks or it's like it's amped yeah. up for whatever reason. Like, yeah, there's got to be exceptions. But yeah. there are dogs that will nonstop bark, especially like when you're when their owners leave for the day, they'll just bark at the for never like five hours straight or six yeah. hours and nonstop. And like that, if it's loud enough to hear inside your neighbor's house, if it's loud yeah. enough to hear out by the street. That's a problem, right? 
I know because you're only I mean, people walking by may hear it, but what, who are you? But that bothering? means you're, that means definitely your neighbors can hear it. Well, depending on how close your neighbors are, I guess. Well, because then you got the, it has to go through the walls of their house to hear it inside. Mm, yeah. Um. So I think that's the key. Like they have to be able to hear it inside. Uh, for it to be uh, a level where you mention. Have it you them. ever complained? And I, I'm not never complain. No, I'm serious. Have you ever? No, no, no. no. Okay. No, I didn't no. think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He that, doesn't like to You know, but to me, that is a, like, I would like to, you, you know, like, we used to make fun, like, you'd always be like, somebody should do a documentary. Like, I honestly think that the, you say it's a problem. I don't think so. I think it has its pluses, too. We've been through this. You well, know, it, you always want what you don't have. But your ability to, like... Dude, I could do a documentary right now called The Man Who's Never Complained and deep study why this happens. And it's fascinating to me, mm. the trigger of, like, I don't want to do that because of X, Y, and Z. Nah, like, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Like, yeah, But it's yeah. not. I, yeah. I get it. And it's some weird genetic thing, too, because... Uh, was Tim your brother? Was he like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. couldn't order. Now a wait sub, a minute. Your right? sister, so your sister is the is a one eighty of that. No, she no? won't no, she talks a big game, but she won't ever complain. What about your person. mom? Same thing. What she, about your dad? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, although my no, my mom would tell me my dad would didn't wanna have any Don't confrontation. Yeah, feathers, yeah, yeah. He just do whatever. Interesting. Complacent. And or, he gravitated to your mom and she's like that too. And your sister's like the yeah, whole family yeah, yeah. are just very just mellow just i'm not gonna no i'm not gonna Dude, I'm, I'm not, not gonna getting ruffle, involved i'm not <laughs> ruffling the feather i like i kind of like it man uh, and our ability to ignore everything around us is also an extreme detriment yeah but you to don't lives, sweat the but, small stuff dude and it's that's yeah. that's where you win yeah yeah you know who does complain about everything <laughs> oh but yeah, that guy. remember <laughs> yelling at the guy at the airport because oh his gosh. music was oh. well <laughs> choppers choppers <laughs> love to be heard here's the advantage and i'll tell him some he also this. buys really good candy have you seen the stash? We do have some good candy Holy now. crap, Butler. On, good uh, job. On Sunday, we went to Disappear an Island for the second time, and I took just my mom, sister, and niece, and the two boys, right, out on the boat. And uh, so we go, and there's this one little uh, patch of No beach. crow? No, she had to work. So, uh, but the, uh, <laughs> to grow the day kidding. before, hence I, the sunburn. It's so uh, mean to uh, your uh, wife. Fine. She's then, so sweet. She don't listen. She, uh, she hates us. Hates <laughs> yeah, uh, she it. hates me. She told me but, to my face. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> we, Get out of my house, I think is what she said. We go, uh, we go to the, the, the same area that we were the day before, and then there was a, like a, two groups of people that uh, they were partying, um, and there was like a two big uh, like groups of a Puerto Rican family, right? Okay. And I know that because they had their Puerto Rican flag. They were taking pictures, Gotta and, have it. and they were blasting music, which is fine. And but I could tell that other people didn't want to be too close to them because their music was loud, and it it left open the perfect like stretch of beach that I pulled my boat right up on, and I was like, this is perfect for the fans because we noticed nothing. Or, mm -hmm. because you noticed nothing, you didn't realize that people were trying to space themselves out because of COVID-19, <laughs> yeah, no. and you got really close to some Puerto Rican family. No. What's up, Puerto Rican family? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not racist like these other people. I'm speaking over your loud music. I'm spitting in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear a mask either. Don't believe in them. <laughs> the hell, uh, No, no, it was enough space. I'm just saying, I could tell people didn't want to be but the vans and we don't notice anything like that hey what's going on it's my top iron i'm a puppy real close to you i love johnny young guy don't believe in myers though covid it's a hoax yeah i think so too no no it, uh, i just it was perfect because... I, I sam i think sam did nail it i, I do think <laughs> no, no, i do think that they were the first thing i hear like I'm telling, I'm telling, i think that was these it they idiots. left this perfect space <laughs> look at all these idiots spicing out wasting all this spice <laughs> <laughs> coming no. in hot for your family <laughs> <laughs> did you beach it uh, hard and then three <laughs> swamp <laughs> children just <laughs> run <laughs> around <laughs> everywhere <laughs> on the yeah, island yeah, yeah, yeah. They were they were flowing. They, they, they don't wear it. They don't wear bathing suits. They wear their underpants. It's fine. It's yep. the van way. Kool Just block mustache. it out. 
Block it out like I block out your music. I'm like, I'm, 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 <laughs> they're, they're like, God damn, this is a white trash. Pool, but Stupid no honkies. <laughs> they're, uh, they look over. Uh, my son's word. They hit this Trump supporter. They pull in. <laughs> they, 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 the, the current was taking my son. Trashing on the word children. Into their jet skis. And uh, I kept, I kept telling them, I'm like, God, what I got. See, you were bothering them. Then a then, uh, uh, lady got on a jet ski and thong her Oh, big thong ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did Max say? Oh, he said no, you know, he, they made him uh, mention that like yeah, this Nike, Nike butt, uh, Nike butt jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you tell him? He go, Max, Nike butt jet skis make the world go round. <laughs> 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 A bone. Uh, oh, we gotta go. Oh, bye bye. 